all right hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you please invite your friends we just started in the uh, in the Arabian prophet channel um, God God is a word used by everybody even by atheist but everybody have his own way to use it some for mockery some for respect some to worship some because they are angry some because mm, it is just a word exists in the dictionary and they used to say it in certain time in certain way but for Muslims God is a different story God is a person his name is Allah and he is praising himself he says praise be to Allah and he is the most gracious the most merciful mm. absolutely this is why Allah he says cut their necks and their fingertips mm. torture them yeah he's merciful Allah is merciful to the point believe the children of adultery they will go to hell hmm. Muhammad was born four years after his father where Muhammad will go now but anyway this is not really our topic our topic is what Allah knows as long you Muslims consider Muhammad to be God how come your God is the last one to know he is the last one to know about anything about science about knowledge about nature creation what we can say now if there is a Muslim he is willing to call and prove us wrong feel free my Skype is open and I will be happy to hear you just take into your consideration that we do not tolerate lies you will be sorry when you lie and people will be laughing at you now who is the Muslim on a chorus open challenge that Allah knows I believe strongly that Allah knows nothing not only he knows nothing he claimed that he knew but he is the most ignorant person ever if he exists for sure I believe he does not exist and Muhammad claiming that he have a God his name is Allah but there is no proof that Allah is even exist the Muslims even do not know what the word Allah mean they don't know even where the word came from and the funny the Muslim they say to us you cannot compare between Allah and the human being but Allah himself he compare himself to a human being which in Muslims created rules contradict the Quran itself if nobody can compare Allah <coughs> to any creature because supposed he is the creator then how Allah he compared himself to his creation so I find always that the Islamic rules are very very silly it's not even smart it have a lack of intellect and deep thinking Yesterday, we have a Muslim, we ask him about a prophecy in the Quran, where Allah, he prophesied, because the first prophet is God, by the way. Prophets are people who carry what God prophesied. The first prophet, the real prophet, is God. We can open any chapter in the Quran, we will find that Allah cannot be a prophet. Yesterday, a person, he said to me, but if you go to chapter 96 in the Quran, which is the first chapter Muhammad received, but the Muslim, because they play with the Quran order, they change the location of the chapters and they fabricate numbers for them. We have a Muslim calling. Hello? Hello. Yes, Abdul, how are you? Yes, child. Let us see who is the child. By the way, what, what the word the child mean? Why don't you have life? What 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 you know? I mean, what, 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 what the word the child mean? Why don't you have life? No. What is the age of a child? 
Listen, why don't you have live? I have live. Who told you I don't? Where is the live? I don't find it. You don't find it? No. Mm. Do Muhammad have life? Do Muhammad have a life when he marry a child? She is six years old. Can you, can you tell us who was the Bob who circumcised your God? Mm. Who is the one who circumcised my God? That's a good question. Who is that? Who, I the challenge person? you not to change the topic. Are you willing to promise me you will not change the topic? No, no, you know who who, the, who that was? No, you tell me, do you know? May I ask you? You are the Christian. Mm, I don't know. Do you know his name? But I you know. Don't wonder, you don't wonder where this uh, little uh, meat is from your God? Mm, do you know that Allah, okay, hold on, hold on. Have you ever heard of a God himself, he is circumcised? Listen, listen, what's the point that me and you talk alone? Well, I want the audience so I can... Yeah, the audience are listening. Hey, don't worry, don't worry, they are listening. Is it true that your God, Allah, is the one who cut the penis of Muhammad? Who? Allah himself is the one who does circumcision to Muhammad. No, no, who was the one who circumcised your God? I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm saying to you, I did not know. You tell me now. Is it true that your God is circumcised? Yes, it's true. And? Ah, you also circumcised, but this is circumcised as a human being. As a human being, now yes, we, we we, we, which means he is he is a nature of a human being. This is why circumcision happened to everybody who is a born of a Jew. But God, nobody can circumcise him. So now, is it true? Is it true that your God Allah He circumcised Muhammad? <clears throat> same time, same time, isn't it Allah who said that Allah He circumcised Jesus? So you have a switch button he can you why you don't want to answer is it true that Allah he circumcised Jesus do he have a switch button did Allah did Allah circumcise Jesus I'm asking you what kind of Allah you have he is the one who circumcised you so you ask me who is the one who circumcised my God the Quran says it is Allah it is Allah yes chapter 3 verse number 55 read it what Chapter 3, verse number 55. Chapter 3. Hmm. Reclaim, reclaim. Hmm. And you can call a friend if you want. You are the one who opened the topic. I hope you will not change it now. 3.55. Hmm. Okay. Where... Hmm. Read it for us, and where does it say that God circumcised him? It says, "It called Allah Yah Isa inni mutawfika wa rafiqa lai wa mutahiruka." What the tahur? What is a tahur? Tell us. What the word mutahir mean? You, you are the teacher. Tell us. Okay, mutahir means circumcised. Mutahir. Hmm. Mutahir means circumcised. Do you speak Arabic? No, I don't speak Arabic. Okay, it's not my fault. It says if you are an ignorant like your God. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. When said Allah or Isa hmm. will take you, hmm. erase you to myself and purify you. Is this the word and purify you? Yeah, purify you. What is purification in Arabic? Mutahiruka. What is dotohur? Is circumcision. What to what 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 to har me huka? Mutahiruka, mm, he is going to do it to him. Allah will do it to, to, to Isa. What Allah will do, he will do to Hur. What is to, how he can do to Hur to him? You know, I can show you that you are lying. Mm. You know how? Show me. Okay, go to your own book, Luke chapter 2, verse 23. Mm. Okay. Okay, go there. Okay, you go there. No problem. No, you, you show to your audience. Okay, no problem. What about it? Okay, audience. tell us, tell us. Look, 23. Okay, and? Hmm? And? What does it say? You tell me what it says. Tell me. Go ahead. I want everybody to be witness. He is taking what Luke is saying against the Quran. Hmm. So you don't believe the Quran. And you are saying to me, I'm lying. Which means by saying to you that Allah is the one who circumcised Isa, you said I'm lying, which means the Quran is lying. That's wonderful. Okay, read for us, Luke. No, that is that is what you want to believe. That's what no, I did not believe that. I said I don't believe Allah. He even get, can, I don't even even believe that Allah can even get a close to Isa or Jesus. Now you show me. You are the one who said to me, I want to prove to you that you are a liar. The Quran says, you see, the Muslim they give a false translation. It says, I will clear thee. 
clear the it doesn't say that it says mutahiruka Luke chapter 2 verse hmm. 21 there is your answer okay what it says read then you can see how you how you are lying hmm. you are going against your own book no i'm not what, what I, I am i am not i am not i'm just making fun of you you are the one who said to me what kind of god he can be circumcised i said to you what kind of god he circumcised You are, you are funny, you know, you are against your own. Why I am funny? You tell me. It's when he was eight days old, hmm. it was time to circumcise the child. Okay. So after the eighth day, your book is saying, after the eighth day, hmm. he was circumcised. Hmm. And? And? So? That means, that means you, you are against your own book? No. I am just showing yes. you your ignorance. I'm saying, I agreed from you with the beginning. I said, yes, he's, he was circumcised as by, by the flesh. Born of a, of, of a Jewish family, he do circumcision, they do circumcision for their children. As simple as that. Now I'm asking you, does the Quran say that Allah is the one who does circumcision to Isa? Yes or no? No. So the Quran is lying. Okay, question. In the front of everybody, in the front of everybody, I will give you 10,000 years to show me how, when did your prophet Muhammad circumcise? Yes, he was circumcised. Can you show me the reference? I don't have to show you the reference. Why you don't mean you don't have to show me? I don't have to show me. I don't have to talk to you. Why? Because you you know you are a coward. What do you mean you don't have to show me? Why you don't show me? You already know. I don't. Have no, to I do not know. know. No, I do not know. Muhammad never been circumcised by anyone. Muhammad is a hypocrite. Show me where he been circumcised. As long as yeah. circumcision is a must in Islam, why your prophet was not circumcised? <laughs> What you know that he was circumcised. Okay, show me, show me. I know, I know, guys. I know, no, I do not know. He never happened. I say myself, I say in front of everybody, as I know, Muhammad never gets circumcised. Show me, go ahead, silence me. Show me. I don't have to show you. you know no, that. and then shut up. Don't call me again. You know Either that. you show me, you are the one who opened the topic. We have to finish it. Jesus, uh, as a person born of a Jewish family. He got circumcision when he's a child, and you show me the reference. Okay, no problem. I'm asking you, can you show me equal reference about Muhammad being circumcised? I showed you that Allah has circumcised Jesus according to the Quran. Now, I want you to show me where Allah, where in the hadith, where in the stories of Muhammad being circumcised. Otherwise, Muhammad is a, is a najis. Because circumcision yeah. is a must in Islam. Why? Because this is tahara. He follow. He followed the prophets because the prophet did it. He have hmm. done it. Okay, no problem. What is the prophet did it? Show me. You followed the teaching of Abraham. Where is the prophet? He did it. Show me. You can read that. Where, where, where? Show me, show me. Don't tell me we can read. Uh, tell me where, where, where? Stop playing games. Where, where we can find that this has happened? Listen, you can read that the prophet. I can read, I can read where I can read where. Stop repeating yourself. You know, everybody is laughing at you. You are like the chromosome now, Mr. Chromosome. Where we can find that your prophet, there's a circumcision. Your prophet, he claimed that he is following the steps of the Jews. He do circumcision. So Jesus is born of a Jewish family, and you are the one who mentioned to us and quote the verses from the Bible. Thank you very much. Can you show me where your prophet did the same exactly as Isa? If Isa was a Muslim, Muhammad was a Muslim. Why Isa do circumcision? Muhammad, you don't. Who say he don't? John, show me then. Do I have to search for the hadith? Yes, you have to. Why not? Why you are uh, you are a pro to find hadith? You can. No, uh, because I could not find it. Here we go. I give up. You you tell me. You are the Muslim. I'm not a Abdul. This is your lifestyle. You only find hadith. There's My friend, no, I cannot find this hadith. There's no such a thing. I never heard of it. Show me, prove me wrong. I want to see your prophet at the age of 40, somebody holding his penis and cutting it off. Show me the hadith. Yeah, I can show you. Okay. Okay, but you have to, you have to understand one thing, okay? Hmm. One thing you have to understand. All right. That everything the Prophet Abraham did and mm. everything what what the uh, angel Jibril said mm. was an inspiration and he followed everything that Prophet Abraham did. No problem. Let us finish first. So, the, the, so, the, 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 so, let, us, let us finish first. Who, who is the man who cut the penis of Muhammad at the age of 40 or after that? Let us see who is that. Give me the reference. Let me show you. Let me show you.
Adam, I'm not going to hold you for 10 hours. I will give you 10,000 years to show me the reference. Is that fine? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. I'm going to wait for you next uh, 10,000 years. Okay, let me call you back. Let me find that I call you okay, back. Okay, but if, if, if you are going, if you will call me back only when you find this, that's me, will you want to call me back? I will call you back. I, I will not let okay. you go. Okay, no, I'm asking you, are you going to find me where he, you will call me back to show me yes, that Muhammad? I, I will. I will give you the hadith where it says he was circumcised. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Okay, you can talk with some some uh, some other meanwhile. You promise me by the by uh, you swear by the fig before you go. You will call me back to show it. To I swear people. by Allah, who is your God and Jesus. Why God? you don't swear Sorry. by the fig? <laughs> okay, okay. He was searching in Google, trying to find. <laughs> okay, you talk about circumcision. Let us talk about circumcision. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let us see what happened. Who is a Muslim when I call us? Let us see. We have a we have Abdul. He called us. Let's see this Abdul. Maybe he can do better. Who is Abdul? He think he knew better. I say Islam is very funny and very silly. Muslims they have big mouth, but they cannot even hold their mouth for what they said a second ago. All of us we knew that the Christians believe God he became a man he born in the flesh of a human being and he is born of a Jewish family and the tradition is to circumcise the children's in certain age so now we have another problem who is the one who this some circumcised Muhammad either you prove to me that he is he did that, that or had otherwise he you Muslims are liars you claim that he is following tradition of Abraham the guy he just said to me Muhammad he followed tradition of Abraham so obviously he did okay if you are claiming that this is Abraham tradition then show me where Muhammad did it otherwise Muhammad is a false man I will give you I will give you 10,000 years to give me the reference 12,000 years I will ask you actually I advise you to call all the chromosome to help you now do we have any Muslim Allah know nothing he understand nothing he hold no information nothing legitimate stupid teaching Quran full of errors and mistakes scientific errors historic errors Arabic error, grammar error, error. I mean, your God, Allah, is not even a Afghani boy who learned uh, Arabic. An Afghani boy who learned Arabic is better than Allah. I never heard of a stupid God like this. Who is the Muslim would like to call us? Maybe, maybe. A Muslim is needed. Anyone? Muhammad is nothing but a copy paste person. He learned things, stupid things. He liked it, he put it in the Quran. Flying carpet, genie in the bulb, Suleiman is speaking to the ants. 
legion of the Jews anything around him anything walk around him Muhammad he captured it he put it in his book and he don't care if it's stupid or smart because he was a man between a bunch of ignorant actually even we do not we have to be fair even the Arab they said to Muhammad this is nothing but the fairy tales of this of the of the ancient so between them there was a smart people if you go in the Quran you will find that the Quran full of verses the Arab said to Muhammad this is nothing but the fairy tales of the old of the ancient tales of the ancient tales of what of the ancient let us change the setting so we can show you all right and we switch here to Arabic second all right now we search for tales of the ancient this is what a translation of who uh, Yusuf Ali so why it's not coming we search for the same sentence he have in his head that's funny the search engine is horrible I'm just trying to show you the collection in English Ah, it did not change. Hold on, let us. We need to change it. All right, now it's going to work. Read with me. All those verses in the Quran, the Arab they keep saying to Muhammad, This is nothing but the fairy tale of the ancient. The Muslim they say to us that the Arab were amazed, in fact, the Arab they were amused, they were funny. Laughing at Muhammad. Such a thing have been promised to us by our fathers. Yes, Abdul. Yes, child. Wait one second. I will mute you on YouTube. Hmm. You are calling your prophet a child? Did you find the hadith your prophet get circumcised? Well, I, I will give you the I will give you the link and then you can put it on the screen so okay. everybody can see. All right, give me the link. I'm waiting. Yes. I cannot wait. Before you give it to me, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, one hundred percent that your link doesn't say that, and everybody will laugh at you. Do you want to bet? Do you want to bet? Your link doesn't say that. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Here we go. Okay. Was the prophet, peace be upon him, born circumcised? The answer. What is the answer? Go ahead. Read, read it. Read no, it. read, read with me. They are saying they don't know. There are different opinions in this matter. Where is the answer? Yes, what is the opinion? Uh, he was born circumcised. Who in the world would believe such a garbage? Jibreel circumcised him. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> when he opened his chest. Is the grandfather show me show me the difference where he's circumcised? There is no oh, circumcision. No, there is no, there is no all of them. I know I know all of this. There's no way it says he was circumcised. Stop saying to me, read, read. All what they are saying to you, the Arab they used to circumcise. Some they say it was Jibreel circumcised him. Some they say Allah circumcised him, but there is no reference. Show me where it says Muhammad was circumcised. Please go ahead. So you didn't know that this was a custom of all of the Arabs. Abdul, what custom is? Hold on, hold on. Show me where it says he was circumcised. What custom? Show me where it says Muhammad was circumcised. There is no need for a report. When no, there is a need. There is no need. How, how come in the Bible it says that Isa, he was circumcised, but there is nowhere in your Islamic religion says Muhammad was circumcised. So you, you went in Google, you searched for, for, for the last 30 minutes, and now you come to me says there is many opinion, and none of them can be supported. But it's there, it's there. It's there what? It's there what? Did you see it says that Jibreel circumcised him? Okay, hold on, hold on. If you are saying to me that the Arab, they do circumcise their children, there's no proof of that. Secondly, that's mean the Arab are not pagans as you claim because where they got this from? Second, number three, why you are saying in the same page, there's an opinion that Jibreel is the one circumcised him. Does it say that? 
So it cannot be it, it cannot be both and what about his born circumcised? So you must have you do not know even he was circumcised or not No, it, this is the three opinion what opinion none of them is giving me anything they are there is three opinion because they do not know <laughs> if they are yes, if they know uh, Abdul listen if they knew if they knew they will not have a three opinion Abdul are you are you smart or you are not child listen, child listen, child, child. Mm. Abdul al Muttalib mm. circumcised him on the seventh day. This is the opinion. It's where it says, where it says, where, where is the story? Read it. Where, where is the story? Where is the story? Where is the hadith? Show me the reference where it says, you are saying to me, read it. Where, where, where it says that, that he did circumcise him. I sent to you, I sent you on Skype. Why, why are you not looking? I'm, I'm, I have it in the screen. I have it in the screen. Ibn al Adam said, it says in some reports that his grandfather Abdullah Muttalib circumcised him. It says in some reports, show us the hadith. Is it authentic? Is it true? This is why this is just a fairy tale story. There's no report of anything. You know, this is a custom of the Arab. Abdul, show me reference. If I show you now, if, uh, someone says, someone says, shouldn't we go and see this is who is the one who said, aren't you the one who said, do you know the science of the hadith? Okay, show me the hadith coming from where? There's no hadith. They are saying they are making opinion, Abdul. They are making opinion. In the same website you gave me, there is nobody can confirm anything. Muhammad actually he never been circumcised. Where is your proof that? Okay, show me a hadith. It says the prophet was circumcised. But where is your proof? Because they never mention. Obviously, he's not. Otherwise, he should be mentioned. A man, he became a prophet. He should be mentioned. Okay, let me ask you. If 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 the Arab they are circumcised in any way, why Muhammad need to tell them circumcised? They are circumcised in any way. You know why? Because hmm. he was a universal messenger to the people. Ah, universal messenger. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Okay. This, this, this is the difference with with Jesus and him. Mm -hmm. Jesus was for the Jews. Muhammad was for the. Universe. Okay, hold on. So why your Quran saying that Allah He sent Muhammad as a messenger for the 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 little village of Mecca and what is around it? Where? Here we go. Read it. Chapter 47, chapter 6. Let's read the first one first. It says, This is a book which we say we have sent. Bringing blessing and confirming the revelation which come before thee So you can warn the mother of the city and what is around it. But by the way translation is false Umul Qura Qura is a village. You know that so Qura is a village and Muhammad was sent as a messenger for to warn people who they are living around his village His village and what is around it. It's in front of you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah Why don't you read the other what other okay? You know, we are reading other are you saying to me? There is a contradiction in chapter 40, 40 in chapter 42 look what it says it says thus we have sent inspiration in to thee in Arabic so that, that mm -hmm. you might you might warn the mother of the, the, the villages and what is around it so it is in Arabic to warn people who speak Arabic in Mecca and around it do people do people in uh, do people in the Afghanistan speak Arabic no, but what, 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 why do you make this that it's only for the Arab? Because well, here we go. I, I'm going to give you another proof. Let's see. You want to see something very, very, uh, very crazy? Here we go. Isn't it the Quran says we never send a messenger except in the language of his, his, uh, in the tongue of his people? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Allah will never, will never yes, send any messenger. Okay. Hold on. Yes. Chapter 14, verse number four. The Quran says. We never send a messenger except in the tongue of his people. So Allah will never send anyone to anyone unless he speak the language of the people and he is from the people. So he cannot be a messenger for Pakistan or India or America or Europe or even Egypt or even Morocco because he don't speak the language of those people. We never send. We never send. Never, never. Allah never send. Why? He make it clear so they might understand. Why don't you read the verse when he say he uh, I have sent you as a universal message? Where it says that? Where it says that? Show me. The, give me the verse, so we can love together. 
just to show you that you don't know uh, your Quran. Okay, I will show you. Mm. Guys, don't forget to invite your friends. We have a Abdul life on us. This is a real Abdul, by the way. This is real. It's not like uh, custom made or something. And he have a lot of knowledge, as you see. I like it when the website you send me, it says that Jibreel circumcised him. <laughs> I want Jibreel to circumcise me too. Did you find it? Are you searching radio station now? You can give some comments on some Quranic verses. Hmm? What are you searching? This, this is what he must have found. Well, this guy sure. is this guy is trying to find where it says that from the that video. <laughs> No, I, I can Arabic. But you know. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> okay, you understand what I say? Nah. Which verse? Which verse? Naka. Huh? Mars Naka. Illa kafatan li nasi bashiron wa nadiron. Walakin after nasi la yalamun. Okay. What does that mean? Okay. Okay. Kafatan. Kafatan to who? people of Mecca the verse the verse my friend the verse explain itself it says we say we, we we send you to the to the people who the, the people who they are around him it says to people of around uh, Mecca and around it go to chapter 34 uh-huh okay mm -hmm. there. chapter 34 okay yes and verse 38 mm -hmm. okay okay let us go okay 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 let us see. Hmm. You said verse number eight. We have not sent you, O prophet. Verse what? What, what verse you said? As, only as a universal message. What verse? What verse? What verse you said? Good to and a warner, but still the bulk of mankind do not know. Abdul, what verse you said? La haula. La haula. Like I, said, I have to say you one hundred times. No, tell me what verse you said because I, I'm, I'm going to show everybody how 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 ignorant you are. Three eight. Three eight. Chapter 34, verse number 38, correct? Okay. Chapter 34, verse 38. Hmm. All right. Read with me. Wait, wait. I don't have... Uh... Guys, did he say chapter 34, verse number 38? Okay. Oh, you sick or what? No, you. I'm laughing at you. Uh, do you I'm like me to help you to find it for you? You do not know how to find the verse. You don't even know how to quote numbers. You do not know how to read the Quran. Come on, come on. What do you want to say about? What well, you say to me? 34, 38. Here we go. It's in the front of you. Where are the verse you are saying to me? 34, 38. Okay, so 34, 38. It doesn't say what you are saying. Let me show. Here we go. I will show everybody that I'm quoting. This is 34, and this is 38. But you understand my Arabic, yeah? That don't don't tell me understand Arabic. You you, you gave me a verse. It doesn't say what you are saying. Do you want? Do you need my help? To find you the verse you are talking I don't about. Know what program you are in? I, I don't have. What don't a program! What a program! What does this have to do with the program? This is Quran, my friend. This is not about the program. You understand my tongue, huh? What uh, what your tongue? Do you do you, speak, do you speak do you speak Arabic? You don't speak Arabic. Do you speak Arabic? But you didn't understand what I said. But what is the verse you are talking to? You told me thirty-four, verse about thirty-eight. It doesn't say what you are saying. Re uh, and not only that, you made fun of me. You said, "Ha ha, you do not know how to find it." Ha ha ha. How many times I need to repeat for you? Ha 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 ha. But it is it is your your program. What my it program? Says, huh? Here it says thirty-four thirty-eight. It says there thirty-four thirty-eight. Yes. It says where?
Look, third. write down in Arabic, Wama Arsenaka, it will come, Wama Arsenaka. <laughs> okay, my friend, so, okay, so uh, read for us what the verse is saying. I will, I will put it in the screen. Did you find it? No, I cannot find it. Oh, hmm. oh, By the way, when you when you quote for me this verse, I want you to be a man, and when I ask you what this verse means, you will not run away from interpretation. Okay. Hmm. Wait, I will find it for you. Really. فما أرسلناك إلا كافة للناس بشير ونذير ولكن أخطر الناس لا يعلمون. Okay, what chapter is that? Okay, translate that what I said. No, what chapter is that? What chapter is that? Chapter twenty. Okay. I know you are trying to get away. Well, what you, got away, my, my friend? I'm just asking you what chapter is that? I opened the chapter. It doesn't say what you are saying, so I don't know what to do. Go to chapter 34, I said. I am in chapter 34. Saba, Saba. Yeah, chapter Saba. This is verse number 38. Okay. You don't Ever, everybody see it in the screen. Here we go. I'm, I'm showing people in the screen. They can see it with me. This is 34, 38. I'm not making things up, Abdul. This is what you caught for me, and here we go. It's on the screen. You are quoting from a website? No, I'm quoting from my head. From your head? Yes. Uh, everybody heard you looking in the video of, uh, of the dad. That was another video I looked up. Ah, okay. Hmm. So your head is messed up. Okay, now where we can find the... Uh, Do you want me to help you? Do you want me to help you? Yes, help me. Okay, this is verse number 28, Abdul, not, th not 38. Are you on 28? Abdul, you told me 38. Everybody heard you. Now, read it. This is your Muslim translation. It says universal. Can you find me the word universal in Arabic? We have not sent thee, but as a universal message. Well, where is the word universal? What is the word universal? What is the word universal? Okay, where is the word universal? What is Except to the people, to the people around you, all the people around you. What is Nasi? Nas is people. Huh? People. What is people? This is what the word nas means. Do you want me to show you? The whole people. That is no. what it Okay, means. hold on, hold on. Okay, this is the whole people. So why the other verse is saying that this is for the, uh, the, the location of Ummul Qura and what is around it? Why it says for the earth? What why why in the verse, why in the verse here it says, we send you to the ones who they are living around Mecca and to Mecca. If this is for all mankind, why it says that? Is that a contradiction? Are you saying this is a contradiction? No, it's not a contradiction. So explain. Here we go. It says it mentioned Mecca, and it mentioned what is around it. Now, yes, are we around yes, Mecca? Yes. I live in America. I am around Mecca. No, someone live in Australia. Is he around Mecca? No. Is the one who yes, live live in Canada around Mecca? No. So how we can be? How he is sent in Arabic, so they might understand for those who live in Mecca and what around Mecca. So he is saying, I send you to the people of Mecca. There is nowhere it says universal. Here in front of you, I showed you verse. Okay, Abdul, Abdul. Okay, I will go with you. I will go with you. Are you saying to me there's a contradiction? Because the Quran says, whenever I send the messenger, unless in the he speak the tongue of his people. Here we go. You want to speak about contradiction? Abdul, here we go. Abdul, here we go. Does it say that we send only messengers in the tongue of his people? Do you see it? Only. That's it. Why? So you might understand. Allah will never send a messenger unless he speak the language of the people and he is from the people not only speak the language So it's not enough to speak the language. You have to be from them read it We never 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 that's it never 
so if you want to say to me Muhammad was sent to all mankind then this verse is wrong listen with you this this verse you know what it's talking about mm, well, tell me what is it talking about that God have sent messenger to all nations mm. before 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 Muhammad mm. everyone have get the message that God is one mm -hmm. Yes, hmm. this is not this is not a contradiction. You in your head, you hmm. also develop. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't, you are like a devil. You in your head, you think everything is is against. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. Uh -huh. I showed you this verse. Wa ma illa Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. Mr. Abdul, Mr. Abdul. May I respect to you? You are very smart, brother. It says there. We never send a messenger. We never send a messenger. You said this is before Muhammad. It says now until now. He's speaking in the time of Muhammad. Never, never, never sent a messenger except speaking the tongue of his people to his people. Okay, so Allah will not send a messenger to any nation unless he speaks the, 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 the tongue and the language. Do Muhammad speak Japanese? No. Okay, this verse saying we never sent and we will not send any messenger unless he speaks Japanese. And he have to be Japanese. We will never send to the Jews a messenger unless he is a Jew and he speak the Jewish language we will never send someone to China unless he's from China and he speak Chinese India have like 400 languages so in order for Allah to send messengers to India he have to send like 400 uh, 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 messenger and all of them have to be from the same group from the same ethnic uh, and speak the same language you know I don't know what's your what is in your mind is it full of shit or what you don't understand Allah is holy saying, shit, holy listen, shit. Listen, I, I heard this listen, full of the Quran. Listen, uh -huh. he has sent messenger hmm. to all of the nations, to our Japanese, to the uh, Japanese people, to the Chinese people. Do you know? Do you know the name of the Chinese the Chinese messenger? No, I don't know. Okay, do you know the the, the Japanese messenger? One hundred twenty-four thousand. We don't know who all of the ones. Hmm, we do not know their names. One hundred twenty-four thousand guys. Okay, now let me see. Let me ask you. As long as long you agree, hold on, everybody heard you. As long you agree that Allah He sent 124,000 messenger, and all of them they have to speak the language of the people. That's mean we have 124,000 language in this earth, and we have 1,024,000 1, nation. But I will let that go. Here, the verse confirming that we never send, we will never ever ever send unless He is from the people is speaking the language of the people. If you don't like the translation, I can change it for you. What translation you like? If you like me to show you the interpretation, I will show you interpretation, my friend. What do you like? It is so clear, it's so clear saying that Allah never sent and will never send any messenger unless he is a speaking from the tongue of his people. He have to be of his folk. You see the word here? This is this is your Muslim funny Abdul translation. I like it. It says, save, save with. The language of his folk so he have to be sent from the folk to the folk and speak the language of those listen, folk listen. Where, where is this uh, chapter and verse this is a uh, chapter 14 verse number four chapter 14 verse four is four okay. four mm. yes all right Yes, he has sent mm. messengers to the people who speak the mother tongue. Mm. Okay, did Muhammad speak the mother tongue of the Pakistani? No, he speak Arabic. Okay, so how he but can be a messenger for the Pakistani? Was a universal message. How he can be a, to be a universal? Have to speak all the language of the world at the same time. He have to be one of them. No, it's different when a universal messenger come. It's one, one Abdul. He said, We never send, we never send. Who, when he said that, he said that in the time of Muhammad, we never send. Huh? He said, In the time of Muhammad, we never send. This is a verse Muhammad received in the time in, in his lifetime, not before. So, we never send any messenger except he is except? speaking the language of his own people. So, he have to be from the people speaking the language of his own people. Mm. Okay, so do Muhammad speak Chinese? No. Do Muhammad speak Japanese? No. Muhammad even do not know how to write his own language, as according to Muslims. You know why? Let me ask. Let me ask you. 
is 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 Musa is Musa a messenger for the Jews only according to Islam? Yes, in his time he was only for the uh, the Jews in that particular thing. How you know? Because it, how do I know? Okay, you, so you are saying to me, okay, let us let us make it clear. This message, this this verse apply for for Musa's, correct? Does it apply for Musa's that he was sent only to the Jews? Yes. Hmm. So the Quran did not say that Allah he sent Musa to the Pharaoh. He was sent to say to Pharaoh to release his people, not to. No, no, huh? no, hmm? no. <laughs> uh, what, what, chapter 29 what? verse number 39 it says that Allah he sent uh, uh, to the Pharaoh Moses and he showed them his miracle chapter but they refused to accept Islam chapter 29 verse uh, 39 as I remember okay what does okay so how you just say to me that Moses was sent only to the Jews what does it say there? What 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 what? I like it when you say what what what. You look like you have a little electricity here. It says there. Let me find you the verses. <clears throat> well, uh, you are a funny guy, you know. Hmm. For sure, oh, sure. Here we go. Listen, is 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 Jesus the same God as uh, Moses talked with? Uh, okay. Huh? Read with me. This is the, uh, the all this is speaking about. Moses is speaking to uh, to uh, to the Pharaoh and asking him to to accept his God. So Moses, yeah. according to the Quran, Moses and Aaron, not only Moses, Moses and his brother Harun, both they invited mm -hmm. the Pharaoh to accept Allah, but he refused. Where, where he said, hmm? which 39? Well, you can hey, go, go to chapter 29, verse number 39, if you want. Yes, which I am 39. Which, where, where does it say? Okay, let me show you. We go to 29, and then we go to verse number 39. <clears throat> Do you see my screen? I see. All right. Listen, 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 it's in front of you. Read it. Listen. listen. So you are getting your prophet busted again. Your prophet was a liar. What? Your prophet, he said, whenever send a messenger except to speak in the tongue of the people and he have to be from the people. So how he sent him to Pharaoh? You are a liar, my prophet. Never well, here we go. You are saying to us only Muhammad was a universal prophet when we see that Moses, he was sent to the nations, which is not his nation. What, what 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 do you mean with this? I don't understand. Where did it say he come to Pharaoh to tell him? Uh, My friend, he, guys, did you hear this? The guy, he didn't understand his Quran. He doesn't understand what this is mean. Are you telling me you are a Muslim, not me? Read it. Came unto them with clear proofs of Allah's mm. uh, punishment. But they were boastful in the land mm. and they were not winners in the race mm. so what 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 does this have to do that he said come and join me he come to invite them to worship allah they refused to worship allah abdul yes to worship allah but he didn't say come i am your messenger huh so if, if, if huh? Uh, what do you mean come here he, he is a messenger from allah allah he sent them to him <laughs> <laughs> yeah. allah one. allah he sent them and this is different verse too this is a different verse, okay? I give you 100 places. It says Abdul, 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 in the front of you, hmm? you see here, those are the messenger of Allah. He sent them to the Pharaoh. And Musa, he spoke to them, and the, the Pharaoh, he refused to accept Islam. So when you say to me that we Muslims, you know, uh, the, the Quran uh, speak only about Muhammad as the messenger uh, for universe it doesn't say any of that anywhere it says only for mecca and around it same time we uh, see that musa he was sent to the pharaoh yeah but i show you what it says the and nas and kafa is, is, is 
apostle. Okay, but the Quran explains in different verses. Okay. Why are you, why are you okay, like but the Quran says to us, you are saying to me, this is your false translation. It says to us, to, uh, not nasi kafa, kafatalinnas. We send you what is enough for the people to understand. What, what does that mean? What, what, what it says in the front of us, we never, here we go, the people of Makkah were around it. And let us, let us, let us finish this. I, I will let you say, Muhammad was universal prophet. Universal, universal, I will go with you. Let us finish this garbage. Now, Muhammad, the universal prophet, how come he says stupid things? Where are you now? In which chapter is this? This is the chapter 42, verse number 7. <clears throat> 42. Mm. So now we have a universal prophet, guys. But he is a stupid. How that can be? How your prophet says that Aaron is the sister, is the, is the brother of Mary. The universal prophet. If I ask you right now, what is the name of the father of Aaron? Do you know? The name of the father of Aaron and Moses. Let us speak about now. I have I have answered your question. Let no, you did not. Everybody is laughing. Listen. You show me that the Quran is full contradiction because one verse in the Quran saying Allah He never sent any messenger to anyone except in the tongue of His people. And Moses one, He went to Pharaoh and He spoke to Pharaoh and He asked him to to, to join Islam. One time in your life, be a man, okay? Mm. One time. I am the only man here. You are not. Okay, one thing in your life. Let us see. I'm should... asking you now. I'm asking you. You you prove me nothing. I prove I prove a clear contradiction. How Allah He never sent the messenger except to speak the tongue of His people. His people is the is the people of the Pharaoh. Is the the people of Moses? Listen. Prove your own... is is the people of Moses are they the same people of Pharaoh? Yes or no? Either you say yes or you say no. Listen, listen, I, I don't listen to stop you. Stop the answer. Because stop saying to me, listen, listen. I want an answer. How the Quran says Allah He sent Pharaoh, He sent Musa Moses and his brother Aaron to, to Pharaoh, but yet He says, I never send a messenger except to the people who speak the tongue, and he is have to be from them. Not only he speak the tongue, he have to be from them. Yeah, for one in once in your lifetime, once in your lifetime, be a man. Hmm. I have asked all your question. You have said, Show me this. Show you never answer anything. Me. Everybody is my witness. No, you never answer anything. You never answer anything. You show, you show me contradiction. You answer nothing. Yes. I, I, I send you. Did you show me? Did you show me any reference to your prophet? This circumcise? Nowhere. I showed you. No, I you showed me that the Arab they used to circumcise in old and in, in young age. But is that, is that mean Muhammad circumcised? Show me. Show me the story where it says he circumcised him. No, I showed you there were three three opinions that he was born. None of them says none of them he says that they saw Muhammad circumcised. Show me where it says even Muhammad they saw his penis and his penis was circumcised. And this was a custom in the Arab world. Well, we, we know it so what the the, the 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 custom, but Muhammad is the son of an infidel, not necessarily he would do what the rest of it is doing. And there is no need for a report because he's no, you have to report. Why how come how come you quote for me about Jesus, but you cannot quote to me about Muhammad? Yes, because I show you how. So you this one you did not answer. The second one I ask you, Muhammad, you said to me, Muhammad is universal prophet. I said to you, the Quran says, we never send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people, and he have to be from the people. Is Muhammad from Pakistan? No. Is he from Japan? No. Is he from America? No. So how he can be a messenger to them? That is a contradiction for the Quran. This is number two. No. Number three. The Pharaoh was sent to, me, to the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh, Allah, he sent him two messengers, Moses and uh, and his brother. And none of them is an Egyptian. So Allah, he lie again. He making contradiction that he never sent the messenger unless he speak the tongue of his own people to his people so they might understand. So you have you gave me three contradiction. Now let us continue with four. If you're a prophet, is a prophet. Why he speaks stupid? My prophet was the last prophet from God. That's why. Give me the prophecy. <laughs> Give me a prophecy from your prophet of God. How he can be prophet, but he have no prophecy. You have no prophecy. No, give me one. Have you not read your book? No. no. You haven't? No. What do you mean, my book? I don't have my book. My book is not with me. It's an Amazon for sale now. In the Jewish, in the Jewish Bible, the Tournament 8. Ah, uh, 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 this is about your prophet. This is about your prophet. Ah, this is about your prophet. But this is a prophecy in the Bible, not his prophecy. If even if this one is about your prophet, as you claim, you idiot. That will not make your prophet a prophet because the, the, the Bible there is a prophesying about someone 
and you claim it's about your prophet so show me the prophecy your prophet he did if I say now that I prophesy there is a donkey he is going to get a PhD okay I am the one making the prophecy so that will not make you a prophet if you are a donkey who speak I am the one who prophesy now show me your prophecy of your prophet that proved that he's a messenger okay show me the prophecy your prophet he did prophecy is somebody some something Muhammad he said and nobody knows save God show me that okay have you heard about the uh... no yeah, no I, way I, I will show you the link now no way that really Muhammad said that here, op open the in, in Skype. Okay. <clears throat> but bef before we go to this, I don't see anything. In Second Samuel twenty four one, was the Lord tempted David, or was the Satan provoked David? In First Corona. Don't don't Corona change topic. Because. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't try. Don't Who try change it? topic. This is a contradiction. You know, you okay, can say whatever anyway. you want. You know, you go and go yes, there. Yes. Anyway, okay, anyway. Okay. Okay. Anyway. No. Anyway. Anyway. No. Anyway. Okay. okay. What is the, what is the reference? Show me the reference. We can laugh now. You are very very yeah, very scared. Mm -hmm. open very your... scared. Yeah. Okay. Guys, this is a link he gave me. I'm not responsible for what is inside the link. And I hope you will not regret. Open Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number two, book number two, hadith number 47. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you before, disclaimer, do you agree with this hadith? Say yes. Yes, I agree. Which, which one? This hadith you gave me. This is the link you gave me. Yes. Okay, do you agree with it? In the... Yes, yes. Okay, you will not say after five minutes, I don't accept it. Do you promise me? Yes, this is okay. in Sahih Bukhari. Okay, it's the most okay so oh, Sahih Bukhari, so it's accepted. So that's wonderful. So Sahih Bukhari, guys, is accepted. So we have no problem. So th that's, I'm, I'm really grateful that you said that. But I want to be sure, that's why I asked you, I want to be sure that you will not say in two seconds from now, this is a fabricated hadith. Do you promise me that? No, this is a Sahih Bukhari. All right. Okay. Come on, come on, read it. Okay. Let us read it. Hold on. Ah. Uh, can you read it for us, please? So, no, so you read it. No, no, you read it. You are the one who gave me the reference. You read come it. Go on, ahead. Read it. No, 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 you read it. Read it. I, I understand read. what you are saying. Read it so we can laugh. Go ahead, read it. Uh, why are you like so childish? You are the one who gave it to us. I'm, I'm listening. Okay, read it for us. You My, uh, Abdul, no, no. I want you to read it. You know better than me. I, you understand better than me, and I'm learning from you. Go ahead. I can see all the text in your screen. Mm. Wait, wait. I open from my wait. Okay, open from your side. Okay. Narrated Abu Huraira. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> we can we can jump from the first. It's not uh, uh, as you wish. Jump as you wish. You can jump all over. Okay, no problem. I, I can read from the beginning, so you don't think I'm... Uh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. I understand. And understand the situation. It's very hard. <laughs> Nothing is hard. Islam is the truth. You okay, can okay, my friend. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Tis, tis. Hmm. Silence. Okay. One day, while the Prophet was sitting in the company of some people, hmm. the angel Jibril came and asked, hmm. What is faith? Allah's messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, replied, Hmm. Faith is to believe in Allah, hmm. his angels, uh -huh. the meeting to him, his apostle. That means all his messengers, Jesus, Moses, hmm. Abraham, and so on and so on. Peace be upon them. Hmm. And to believe in resurrection. Hmm. Then he for, for, further asked, hmm. this is Jibril, is asking him, hmm. what is his tongue? Allah's messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, replied, to worship Allah hmm. alone hmm. and else not jesus hmm. not uh, buddha okay and to offer prayers perfect perfectly hmm. to pay the compulsory charity that okay means zakat. Hmm. And to observe fast during the amount of ramadan hmm. then for the ask what is ihsan perfection hmm. allah's messenger replied وسلم, to worship allah as if you see him and if you cannot achieve this state of devotion, then you must consider consider that he is looking at you. Mm. And he further asked Jibreel, mm. 
when will the hour be established? Mm. This is the prophecy. Okay. Open your, let us take uh, let us take one by one so we can love together. One by one. What is the first prophecy he gave? What is the first one? This is the prophecy. I know. What is the prophecy? What is the first one? Read with me. Listen. My friend, read the first prophecy so we can love we can we can love. Isn't it your prophet? He said when the slave she gave birth to her master. Listen, don't speak. Listen, now. listen, it's in the front of us. You are the one who gave me this. Isn't you who gave it to me? Let me finish. What? When will the hour will be established? That means okay. What is the first thing will happen? It says when a slave lady gave birth to her master, isn't it Muhammad? He's a slave lady, married a cop, she gave birth to, to, to his son, according to Muslims. Where are, I? Where are we? What are you talking about? Wait in the front of you. Allah's supposed to reply. I am not in your YouTube station now. Allah's supposed to it reply. says number one, number one in the web page you gave me. Number one. Mm. Mm. Where is number one? <laughs> Where is number one? <laughs> Allah is supposed to reply. The uh -huh. answer has no better news than the questioner. Mm. That means only Allah knows mm. when the hour will come. And this is what also Jesus said. Okay, read the verse number one. Read the verse. Uh, read, the, read number one. Okay, number one. How he do not know? How the how this is stupid? How he say nobody knows? The, the, the answerer have no better than the questioner. Then he gave me the answer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is this is the thing. That okay, he, what is number one? What is number one? That he's an angel. That's why. What? No one answered this if he's not an angel. No problem. But what is number one prophecy? He said. Yeah. What is number one prophecy? But let me finish. I will come to it. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> why you don't want this? This is the topic. The topic is okay. Muhammad give him prophecy. You are quoting me for a prophecy. What is the first prophecy? Yes. Wait. Wait. Hmm. And say. The answer has no better knowledge than the question. That means mm. only Allah knows when the judgment day will come. Like Jesus also say, mm. only the Father knows mm. when the hour will come. That's why he's not God. Okay, I, I continue. No, he did not say that. Yes, he said. No. But I will inform you mm. about it. Did he not say that? No, he did not say that. He said in, in the same chapter you read, he says, Jesus, he said to you when the judgment day will come. What Jesus is saying, that nobody knows, not even the Son, which means the man in the flesh. Not the man in the flesh, only God, the Father, my Father, and then He continues saying, "When the judgment day will Who come." Huh? Who is the Father? Jesus, He said, "Me and the Father is one." Who is the Father? Our God. And who is your God? Jesus. And who is the Holy Ghost? God. And who is the Father? Is one God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit is one God. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, and you yourself, you are a body and a stupid and a human in the same time. You are a spirit. No, you are a spirit. You are a human, right? You have a spirit. You have a flesh. Is that correct? Yes, yes or no? I'm one person. Yes or no? Okay. Who will go? You are saying. You are saying to me. You are one person. Allah is one person or two or three. How can how can Jesus and Father be same when they don't have same knowledge? Oh, they have the same knowledge. No, 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 no. They have the same knowledge. No, no, no. The Bible. Jesus, He said, everything, everything. The Father, He do. I do. Everything the father he everything I have the father gave me and what everything the father he do I do which means he's saying to them everything I say to you is from the father What does that mean my knowledge my act my? Uh, uh, my miracles which mean the man himself can do nothing. I am not the man It's God in this man who speak It's God who do the miracles so me and the father is one That's what he said was he not, was he not the, what was he not the God? He is God for sure. This is God, the God, the word, the word of God. Abdul, Abdul, you are you are trying to to change the topic now. The word of God became a man, as simple as that. So for us, the man, the man is a flesh. He is a human being, a flesh. It's a flesh. You know, you can kill him. You can uh, you can you can cut his skin. He can bleed. It's a, this is a flesh of a human, but it's still this a human which is in the flesh. He is God in the same time. So he's a perfect man. He's a perfect God, and that's why you see Jesus, who is in the flesh. He can control the nature. He can make from the mud a bird as the Quran says he can make the blind see how he can do that Yet he's a man how the Quran call him holy but yet he is a man how the Quran says that now he is now in heaven but yet he is a man how he can forgive sin but yet he is a man nobody can forgive sin save God now you're a prophet here he said when a slave lady gave birth to her master this is the first sign of the judgment day do you agree yes but but, but don't you think this is stupid don't you this think this is, is stupid, stupid? Wait, 
before I go to this, mm. I just want to answer what you said. Mm. Why are you why are you jumping every time you say that he make uh, the uh, the bird with his uh, with his uh, thing and all that? Why you jump away when when Quran say with God's permission? With God's permission, here we go. Did, did, did Allah give me permission to to kick his ass every day? Like just say in John five thirty, I cannot myself own do nothing. Yeah, but ex I explain to you that uh, be because people they are looking at him, how this person he forgives sin, he forgives sin, he forgives sin. He not only do miracle, he forgives sin. What authority you have to forgive sin? This is what the Jews they want to kill him. So he's saying to them that I am a forgiving sin, not because of a man in front of you, because God on me, I am God. Worship me. Go go ahead. I forgive sin. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. That's what he said. So people they are looking. They see a man. Yet, be, but yet he say for your sin is forgiven. Can a man forgive sin? Let me ask you. Uh, Can a man forgive sin? Can Muhammad forgive your sin? No, only God why? Sin. Only God forgives sin. So when the Bible says that Jesus forgives sin, that means you just confirm to me that this is God. So stop playing games. If you want to take the Bible, you take the whole Bible. You don't take only a phrase and you try to play with it. So Jesus in the Bible, he forgives sin, and you just confirm that only God can forgive sin. Now I'm asking you why Jesus can forgive sin. Do you understand why? Listen, listen, listen. No, don't tell me listen. I am asking you why Jesus he can forgive sin. When he wants to wake up Lazarus, why did he want help from the I'm asking you why he why Jesus forgives sin? Why? Why do you say he can forgive sin? And I don't believe in the word that the Bible is speaking about Jesus. He's okay, so he, he okay, okay. Let's go back to the topic now. Let's go back to the topic. Your yes, prophet, yes, yes, you yes. see, you are playing games. When we get you busted, you don't want to talk about it. Okay, no problem. No, no, no. Now your when prophet, he said, busted. you see, you are scared to talk about this because you're you are the one who called this for me, and now your prophet is in a, in a trouble. How your he's prophet, saying, he says, the sign of the judgment day that a slave she gave birth to her master. How stupid is that? Isn't it him himself? He is, he is a person who have a slave, her, her name is Mary the Copt, and he made her, supposedly according to you Muslims, to give him a son, his name is Ibrahim. Hmm? 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 He is the master, and she is his slave, and she gave birth to him, a child, his name is Ibrahim. So that, that is a son of Judgment Day? This is one of them. Okay, but this is one of them. So, but this is but this has happened all history since the beginning of man time. Is it Abraham? He have a son from his slave. No, she was a princess. Princess? Yes, from Egypt. <laughs> Can you show me reference? When the shepherd Can you show me the reference? Why are you, why are you trying to Can you show me the reference? No, 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 no. I want to see the reference. I want I want to see the reference that Abraham he married not he did not marry uh, his slave. He married from uh, uh, from a princess. Show me the reference. Listen, let us come to that, but let us be finished with this first. Yeah, we are trying to finish with this. We are stuck here now. I want you to show me where Abraham, he married a princess. I want to name, I want to see the princess, where we can find the story of the princess. You wanted a prophecy? Yes? Or yeah. No? But this is not a prophecy. This is not a prophecy. All the Romans, they have sex with their slaves, and their slaves give birth to, their, to, to, uh, uh, to them. This is stupid. This is not a prophecy. This is one of them. This is one of them, but it's not a prophecy. This is happening every day. As long as there's slaves having sex with their master, they will give birth to, their, to, to them. So how that will be a sign of a judgment day? This is a stupid statement. This is one sign. This is what I'm saying, my friend. How how he say this is a sign of judgment day? When this has happened long, long before Muhammad and long after Muhammad and even happened with Muhammad himself. Yes, but this is one of the signs. He will go see because he is now. This is very troubling, and now he tried to jump over it. And this is one of the signs. What is the sign? If this has happened, Abraham have a have a, have a slave. Pharaohs have a slave. All people before all have a slaves, and they have a children from their slaves. Antar ibn Shaddad is a son of a slave, very famous person in the between the Arab. So, what do you say to me? How you say to me? Your prophet, he made a prophecy here. Is that a prophecy or poo poo? So, are you finished? Are you finished with it? I want an answer. Is that the prophecy or poopoo? -poo? It's a prophecy. Okay, so this is stupid prophecy. Continue. Okay, if you want to think like that, no. No, I'm not thinking. This is a proven. Everybody is laughing. Okay, continue. Number two. Okay. Number two. When the shepherd of a black camel start uh, boasting and competing with others in the construction in high building. Yes. What is this? Okay. And. What is this? This is a. This is, is a. This is a sign of judgment is? day. 
Yes, that look. Let me ask yes. you: Did you did you ever see did you ever see the high building in Yemen? Let me speak. Let me speak. Abdul, I am asking you to speak. The people of Yemen, they are shepherd of sheep and they have high building before even European. Ooh. People of Yemen. Okay. They are shepherd and they are Bedouin and yet and they, they and, 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 and they are, and they are shepherd of camel and sheep and yet they have high buildings. Okay. So how this is a prophecy? It happened even okay, before let Muhammad. Me speak. Let me speak for one one. You keep saying to me, okay, okay, and then I and then you say to me, okay, okay, and then you say to me to speak. Okay, go ahead. Listen, you are busted. Every time I want to speak, you stop me. Okay, don't speak now, okay? Hmm. When the shepherds of black camels start boasting and competing with other in the construction construction hmm. of higher buildings, hmm. this is the one of the signs of the hour, and hmm. this is what's happening now. Where is the highest building in the world? Hmm. But this is not even built by them, this is built by Where us. Where is the highest building in the world? It's not. It's not in Dubai. It's in Where Russia. Is it's in. It is in Russia. It is in Russia. No, it's in Dubai. Uh, go and search right now. And it's, uh, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me you that like? your prophet he prophesied that the highest building this will be a sign of a judgment day, correct? Yes. Okay, but this is the highest building. It exists more than fifty years ago, and nothing yet happened. Where is the highest building today? My friend, hold on, hold on. This is a sign of judge. I'm going with you. I'm going with you. Where is the highest building today? Did the judgment day come? In Dubai, 40 years ago, there was no thing. Okay, here we go. How long ago we have a building, high building in Dubai? No. This How long ago? How long ago? The the high building is called the, the, the tower, whatever they call it. How long is built? Do you want to show it? Search in Google? Yes, search. Hmm. That name is Burj Khalifa, and that is the word okay. building in the world. All right, Burj Khalifa. Prophecy that he's a messenger. All right, Burj Khalifa have a cross, by the way. <laughs> we know there will be Arab who will get some oil. And okay, hold on, Burj Khalifa. Here we go. Burj Khalifa uh, is built. Let us see here. Uh, sure, uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, Burj Khalifa. Show us in the building. I will show you Where the building. The building have a cross in it too. Is that the one? Is that the one have a have a have a cross? I don't I don't know if it's a cross if it's your. Uh, or maybe this know. is a different one. Okay, hold on. I don't understand what you want to get from this. Yeah. Well, this is Burj Khalifa. People they can see it now. Burj Khalifa is built. Do we have the judgment day? That is a that is a sign that it's very close, and you, sh okay. you should repent out to Allah before you. you no, my die. friend, your prophet, you stop here. Your prophet, he gave two prophecy, and he said, when this happened, judgment day is there. This is hate in front of you. Everybody is laughing. It don't. It doesn't say it's there. It say it's no. It he said that. He said that. And the hour, and the hour is one of five things which nobody knows except Allah. Do you see it? Now, do you want me to show you the five things? Do you want me to show you the five things? Wait, 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 wait. Don't, Just to don't. show you that your prophet is a scam. Did he say five things? Why are you saying you are? Did a your scam. prophet say five things? Did your prophet say five things? You are a scam. Don't Did your me. prophet in the hadith in front of us? He said this is one of five things. Did he say that? Did he say yes. that? And the hour is one of five things which nobody knows except Allah, and he told us those things. Okay, this is Sahih Bukhari. Read with me, Allah. Your prophet is a liar and he's a scam because if there are five things, there should be always five things. Not in every story he tell is different. Read with me. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Allah, he said the hour will not come. And this is the same story about the high building. So we will love together. And Muhammad here, he called them one by one. The hour will not come until till big, too big a group fight each other, whereupon there will be a great number of casualty. One of both sides, and they will be following one in the same time. In the same doctrine and religion. Question. Which is the two group? They fight each other, and then the other one follow the other group religion. Give me the name, please. You tell us. You tell me. Here we go. This is the first prophecy. This is number one. Hmm? There is two big group. They will fight each other. They are the biggest in this earth, and then one will win, and the other one will follow the religion of the other one. Tell me which one is that? You tell us. I don't. You know. tell me. Here we go. This is your prophet making poo poo. I have not put my so this is a lie. This is number one is a lie. You cannot answer it. Let us continue. 
Then there is there is 30 Dajjal. There is 30 Dajjal. So the, the, the Dajjal, the false messiah, is one of them. Did the Dajjal, the, Dajjal, the false messiah, came yet? No, he have not come yet. Thank you very much. So number two did not happen too. Okay, let us continue. And tell the number three, tell religious knowledge is taken away by the death of religious scholars. So there's no more scholars left. This is number three. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Do we still have scholars right now? Yes, we have scholars. Thank you very much. So this one did not happen yet. And then four. Not, shut up, not, shut up. Then the, hold on, hold on. Then four. Earthquake will increase. Hold on. For earthquake will increase in number. Is that happening? They are, they are corrupted scholars. That's why. He the, say by okay, the but you said to me, no, no, no. You said to me a second ago, no, we have a scholars. You did not say they are corrupted. Are you saying to me all the scholars of Islam today are corrupted? We have scholars, but they are corrupted. Many of them. All corrupted. All corrupted. I don't say all. Many okay. of them. So then, this, this is not a prophecy yet, because here it says. Till religious knowledge is taken away. There's nobody. That's it. Nobody knows anything about Islam. As simple as that. Right, we continue. Then he says, earthquake will, earthquake will increase in number. Is that happening? Yes. That's false. We continue. Okay. Time will pass so quickly. That means the day will be short. Is the day is shortened now? Yes. Isn't it 24 hours as the same time in the time of Muhammad? Yes, for you because you live in this worldly life. <laughs> Let us get he's talking about sign for us, you idiot. Sign we will see, sign we will see. Time will be short, will pass quickly, which means that they will be shorter. Let's continue. And then the, the affliction will appear, the affliction will appear, and then look what he says: Al Haraj, the killing will increase, and then he says the wealth will be abundance. This is number eight, which means there's nobody will take money. You leave it in the street, nobody will take it. Did that happen? Yes. Now, if you leave money in the street, nobody will take it. Yes. Really? Yes. Guys, did you hear this? This guy, he just said that he agreed with his prophet that people, they are leaving money right now in the street and nobody will take it. Can you put your credit card for us on... Uh, on? Uh, 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 can you take a picture of your credit card? And let us see how many people will take it. I will put it on the screen. Can you do that? I, I cannot help you that you have not been in a rich island. Abdul, don't be stupid. You said that you agree with your prophet that wealth will be abundance and nobody will take it even to the point he says so abundant the wealth person will worry last body last body should accept his zakat which means nobody even will take zakat and whenever he will be presented to someone the person who is presented to or offered to he will say i am not in need to it so your prophet he says that judgment day will come when people do not need money no more is that happening yes this is happening nobody need money no more Yes. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I mean, you are something, man. But nobody knows money no more, and you are saying yes, and you are squeezing yourself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How in the world? How in the world you consider yourself a man who have a brain, and you say that nobody need money no more these days? Look at Saudi Arabia. Are you blind? Where is which planet you live in? They have a lot of money. They don't need anything. They do not. No. <laughs> they have too much money. <laughs> Abdul, he is this is a sign for judgment day. All mankind suddenly you are talking about Saudi Arabia. And by the way, Saudi Arabia, he put in jail more than 100 billionaires to, 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 to suck their money. He need their money. They are bankrupt. What are you talking about? No they need money, huh? They, yeah, they need money. Until now, they don't have sewage. Your Mecca is flooded by, 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 by shit every, every, every rain. Now, let us continue. Everybody is laughing at you. Now, here, number nine. Do you see number nine? Do you see number nine? Yes, this, okay. This is the prophecy. Hold on, hold on. Tell people complete one, com, uh, com, uh, complete with one another in constructing high building. Do you see it? Yes, and okay. that, that high building is okay, in, hold on. in okay. Saudi Arabia. All right, thank you very much. So now all those things have to happen before the high building happen. And you are that you want to tell you told me, remember, maybe you forgot. You said to me that the jail did not come yet. The 30 the jail did not come yet. Correct? Who says that this is in order? It is in order. He said one, two, okay. three. Do you see it? Number one, number this two, is, number three, number four. In order. Yes, no, in order. Is, no, is, yes, in order. And the last, the number nine is the building is high, but building is high in the world since 200 years ago. Actually, even before the Yemeni people, they have it long time ago. The Pharaoh, he have a high building. This is stupid. And the Pharaoh, the, his people are shepherd too. They are farmers. They are not high-tech technology. Same time, look what he said. 
the people will complete in, uh, uh, compete with each other in construction high building and then tell the man he when he passing by the grave of someone he will say would I uh, would that I wear in his place and then the Sun this is an order and tell the Sun rise from the West this is the last thing will happen this is number 11 and then the Sun will rise to the people from the rising from the uh, uh, from, from the East from the West story so Europe prophet yeah. saying the last last sign is the West Sun rising not not going there so you're a prophet obviously is a false prophet and you are the one who helped us to do that because you said that the high building the high building will we will be number nine and people they will not need money before that and people time will go pass quickly uh, uh, before that and uh, there's no more scholars in islam or knowledge about islam will taken away before that and then 30 the jail will come and nothing happened like that and then no one says this this is according to the st stages it's the major signs he's talking about my friend you are the one who said to me you are the one who mentioned that this is happening right now you forgot yes okay yes okay now what is the but proof okay no 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 no, no no the hadith in the front of me it says one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the people they are witnesses this is your website not my website show me the opposite show me that this is not the order go ahead it's not the order just because you have read it one two no three, show me three, show three, me three. that this is not the order show me that this is not the order it just should, should get you busted do you see number 11 do you see number 11 and the, until the sun rises from the west all right let us go and search for that okay let us mm -hmm. see what your prophet said about is, is that is the last thing or not everybody will laugh at you in a second it's the, Hold on, one, one of the major shut up. signs. Yeah, yeah, one of the major. Yeah, your prophet, the your prophet, the false prophet. Your prophet, the false prophet. Let's see. Here we go. You're a prophet. He got you busted, and he quoted the Quran. This is the sun. This is the, 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 this is an order. The sun will be the last thing will disappear and will come from the west. So the sun every day. Muhammad he said, once I was with the uh, with the prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset. The prophet said, Oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? All right. Actually, in Arabic, mm -hmm. he says he did not say uh, where the sun set. He's yeah. Actually, he said that in, the, in Sahih. I replied, uh, Allah and His Messenger. Uh, 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 are you happy now? Are you happy? Uh, uh, okay, but this is stupid. Look at this. Look at this. Is stupid. Your prophet. He's he made he, he he claimed that the sun goes every day. The sun set. I replied, Allah and His Apostle say, uh, uh, know best. He said it goes and prostrate underneath the throne of Allah, and Allah's statement. And the sun runs in the fixed course. Do you see that? And your Bible say the earth is flat. Do you agree? No, that my Bible doesn't say that. I will show you that from the Quran. Everybody, what happened to you? Everybody is like. <laughs> so you're a prophet. He says he claim that the sunset is the sun is going. Let me show you under Hadith, so we can love together. Read this with me. This one is even more horrible. Your prophet is a prophet, right? Read with me. Do you know where the sun goes? Do you see it? Do you know where the sun goes? He said. At the time of the sunset, I replied, Allah and his apostle know better. The Muslims associate the knowledge of their prophet with the knowledge of God. Both are equal in knowledge. He said, it goes, i.e., travel. Your prophet is stupid. He claimed that the sunset is the sun going. This is the most stupid statement. And then it will prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. And it take permission to rise again. It is permitted until the time when come. This is the judgment day. It will be permitted to prostrate itself. But its prostration will not be accepted and would be, will be asked permission to go to its course, which means to go from the West. But it will not be permitted, but it will be ordered to return whence it has come from, which means the rise from the West. And that is the interpretation of the Quran. Read with me carefully. All the statement and the sun runs to its fixed course. So you're a prophet claim that the last order is the sun will not come from the east do you agree with your prophet or not <laughs> to be honest with you 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 don't know what you're talking about okay Nobody do you agree you with your prophet about. or not he said the sun every day every day for eternity going no until one day about. allah will not allow it to go is that the last thing or not what is this is the last stage before judgment day yes or no and the sun runs it fixed course for 
what is it uh, you want to uh, what's the problem I don't I'm asking you is problem. it this is the last stage according to your prophet the Sun every day every day go in until one day Allah will not allow it and he will say to us no go from the West is that the last thing will happen that is the major science it don't say that is been last thing. Abdul you are a liar you are a liar and let me ask you here Why? hold on do you agree with your prophet when he said that there is no scholars of Islam will be exist and no knowledge of Islam will be exist that means that they will be corrupted okay that's mean there's no Muslim will be left no not Muslims they will no. be corrupted you see scholars. here we go it says the knowledge of Islam will be taken away you see between two bracket it doesn't say even scholars this is a lie of the Muslim translation it says tell the knowledge the religious knowledge of taking away so nobody will have anything about his religion from Muslims Yes, yeah, that do, is the religious. Do you scholars. agree with that? No, doesn't even say the scar. This is this is this is that between but two brackets. Because you don't know about Islam. That's why you don't. You have no okay. idea. Okay, is that a sign about. of judgment day? You are saying to me, you're a prophet. He said that this is a sign of judgment day, which means there's no Muslims, real Muslims, will be left be, uh, left in the earth. Do you accept that? Yes, this is the major sign. Okay, so you are saying to me, know, so you Muslims, you Muslim, you lie to us. You say our number is a growing. Islam is a growing. Will take over the earth. When Muhammad yes, is saying that that uh, hold on, hold on, what a growing is growing is dying. Your prophet saying that Islam is going to die before the judgment day. There's no Muslim left. Nobody knows anything about Islam. Read it. Read Genius World Record 2004. The fastest religion in the world. Is My Islam. friend, no, this is not the fastest. This is the fastest dying religion. And here we go. You are a Muslim in front of me. You do not know how to answer. So all of this proved to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. What kind of a prophet he believed that the sun set because the sun goes from point A to point B? Is that a false prophecy or not? It's not a false prophecy. So what do you mean a false prophecy? Is Who false. is the donkey when I believe that the sun goes every day from point A to point B, and this is what explained the sunset? Do you really believe in that? No, that is what your your understanding is. No, your it's not my understanding. Read wrong. it. Read it. It says, "I replied, Allah, apostle, and no better." He said, "It goes. The sun goes, i.e., travel. Then it's frustrate itself." So your prophet explaining how the sun set. Yes or no? Ask me at sunset, do you know where the sun goes at the time of sunset? I reply, Allah is supposed to know, but uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, it goes, travels till it prostrates itself underneath the throne. What okay. is wrong with you? Okay, so the sun is, the, he is explaining how where the sun goes. Here we go. He said, the sun goes. Which one is going? The sun. The fact the sun is going nowhere. And you're a prophet here is a being a donkey. Does the sun goes it's anywhere? It, it, it goes. Yes, it goes. Do you know what goes where? It's i.e. travel. This is your Muslim translation. I.e. travel. So you're a prophet saying that the what, sun is moving. Arabic, Arabic word. What does it say? You are Arabic. Here we go. What it says it here. Uh, 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 he said, Aina tadhab. Where it goes? Called Allahu wa Rasuluhu alam. Qala fa inna ha tadhab tahta shams. It goes and to, 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 sorry, tasjo tahta al arsh. It goes and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah, and they will ask permission to come back. And then we'll, we'll, we'll be doing that until Allah one day will, will not permit it to go back and then he will order her to come from the from the West. Yes, this is metaphoric speaking. This Don't is not metaphorical. This is a lie. This is a sign of a judgment day. Stop no. lying. Stop lying. You are the one who gave me the hadith. Uh, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. A second ago, you said to me, yes, in the, in, it's going to come from the West and this is a sign of judgment day. This is physical, not metaphorical. Stop lying. This is metaphoric. You, you are a donkey no liar. Everybody is laughing at you. He is giving us a sign of judgment day. Sign we will see with our eyes, you liar. How that is going to be metaphorical? You don't understand. It's a metaphoric. You How that can be metaphorical? Okay, give us the metaphoric of it. That that the sun will go and ask permission to Allah. But about the sun will come from the west. Is that metaphorical? We believe that everything is alive and everything has submitted. The sun will come from the west. Is that metaphorical? What the sun will come from the west is that metaphorical? The sun will come from it will raise from the west. Yes, is that metaphorical or physical? No, no, that is physical. Okay, did your prophet count it as the last thing as a sign of the judgment day? Yes, okay, so here we go. We prove to you the stages. The so here we go. This is consistent with this hadith, is the last stage before the judgment day. Do you see one it? of the, one of them it's not in stage okay let me ask you we mentioned where the sun goes because so now we prove we prove that your prophet you, we prove that your prophet is a false prophet now let, let me ask you let me ask you did your prophet say is that the major of mankind is the Roman hmm? did your prophet he says before judgment day 
the Roman they will become the major of mankind the return of Jesus is one of the closest which is the this sign. is not the question now is it true yes. it is true that the, the major of the major of mankind they will be from the Roman you know that when he come he will this is not the question not this you. is not the question I'm asking you my friend focus with me focus stop being uh, is it true that the Roman will be the major of the mankind the Roma will be in the major the major in the population of the mankind okay what what is this what do you want to know about this I'm asking you is it true that the Roman they will be the biggest population for mankind yes or no I have no idea if I show you that your prophet he said that what you will do let us see no no if I show you that are you going to agree that your prophet is a false prophet let us see let us see what okay it before is. I show you where is the Roman located can you give me the name of the country of the Roman is the Europe is Europe where is what country everyone everyone in Europe is uh, Roman everyone in your in Europe is you Roman who said that to you yes. who is the donkey yes. he said that to you everyone okay everyone everyone donkey where, 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 where do you get reference from that the Roman are the European this is our understanding not your understanding ah our understanding ah, okay yes okay. you're not one of us okay you, okay okay yeah, yeah, thank God I am not one of you Okay. Yes. Okay. I thank God. Okay. Here we go. You, you know, you're a prophet. He said, "I heard Allah Messenger that this is Sahih Hadith too. I heard Allah Messenger saying, as uh, saying, the last hour would come when the Roman would form the majority among the people. How truthful this is prophecy is." Uh, see what are you saying? Let me see what you are saying. What are you saying? Mm. Mm. They have the patience to undergo a trial and immediately restore themselves to the last hour would come when the Romans would form a majority amongst you amongst people hmm. yes hmm. are they what is it are they the majority you said to me yes. from the sign of the judgment that the, the arab they will have high buildings okay this romans you think it's italy no 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 tell me what it is what it is it's the europe okay europe are europe now the majority of mankind you donkey it's the one of the major what do no he says here that the, the last hour would not come until the Roman would may the, be the majority of among the people they are the majority the European they are a small tiny in number they are not even 300 million this is the this is the population of a street in China the whole Europe the whole Europe are you sure yes they are in uh -huh. the, they are not even the size of, of, of Indonesia alone how many how many is it in whole Europe I don't know but your prophet saying know. that they are the are majority are they are they more than the Asian is the Roman Asian hmm? the major population are they the, are they are they the European or the Asian compare let us compare between ethnic the European hmm. are white people are they the European who live in Europe they are more than the Asian who live in Asia are they the majority but this maybe have not happened yet. Ah, so now the European they will start have babies like a chicken and lay eggs, and then they will become the majority. Actually, what happened is the opposite. They are mm -hmm. decreasing in what number. They are decreasing in number they, because they, they they get married, they have one child or two child. So you are a prophet, give false prophecy again. No, it's not the false prophecy. First this of all, there is no Roman. Understand. First of all, there is no Roman exists no more. The only country can be, can be called the Roman is Italy. And it's not even 30 million and your prophet is a big fat liar and the European they are not the Roman This is a big fat lie from you to cover the ass of your prophet number no, three the is, number is, is decreasing their number is decreasing not increasing That's why you don't have the knowledge. That's why okay somebody so somebody ignorant. said to me somebody said to me that the European now today is 700 etc 700 million, but the 700 million half of them they are uh, immig immigrant where is the Roman? There's no Roman, and none of them is is a uh, Italy is the only country can be considered Rome. That's it. Roma but is where? Roman where is Europe, Roma? Where is Roman the, where is the people who people. speak? Who are the, the people who speak the Roman language? Is the people who live in Rome and not live in Italy? 
not the French, not the English, not the, not, not, not Irish, not the German. Let us make it simple. So you're a prophet here. He is making a poo poo. How he says such a thing? What? How he says such a such such a prophecy? Yes, but this maybe it have not happened yet. It, it's impossible to happen. This is what I'm saying. Uh, the, you're a prophet. Maybe, you're a prophet. It, it, Let it, me it, tell it, you what it, happened. Let me tell you what happened. You're a prophet. When he said that, you're a prophet. He noticed that the Romans are the biggest, biggest empire. So he thought they are going to grow. He never imagined they were going to shrink. No, this is what you believe. You you don't have the knowledge that what will happen in fifty years. Uh, ah, years. okay. Let me ask you: Who is the one who will conquer Constantinia? Is it the Turkish or the Muslims, Arab Muslims? It have already been the Muslim who have. They are they are the Turkish, the Turkish. But your prophet he claimed that the Turkish are your enemy. Stay away from them as they stay away from you. He never prophesied no, they were Muslims. You know, you no, know, hold on. No, your prophet he claimed that the Turkish are your enemy. Stay away from them as long as they stay away from you. So they didn't stay away from us. Hmm? They don't stay they away didn't from you. They stay away from us. But your prophet he claimed that he should kill them and fight them. Read with me. But if they didn't stay away, okay. From us, read with me. Read with me. The last hour would not come until people wearing shoes of hair fighting against you, leaving their their faces like hammered shield. He's speaking about the Asian, and this is a sign of judgment day. But this is how long mm -hmm. how long time ago happened? And here he says, the last hour would not come until the Muslim fight the Turk with mm -hmm. the people who they are faces. Do you see the Turk? So you're a prophet claim that the Turkish will never be Muslims. They are your enemy. And he's making fun of their look because they are Asian. Mm -hmm. He's saying that their faces is like the one who you hit with the hammer. Yes. Okay. How come, the, how, the, how this can be true? You're a prophet. He did not know that the Turkish will become Muslims. This is not the uh, Turkish, it's the... the, what, uh, the, the it, it says they the Turk, it doesn't say Turkey. There's no Turkey, my friend. There's nothing, it's called Turkey. This is the Turk. Does it say that in front of you? Yes, there was not something what... But, 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 but how he, how he say that this is a sign of judgment day? Yes, this is one sign. What do you mean one sign? This has happened during the Caliphate, during the time of the Abbasian. This is a sign mm -hmm. of judgment day. This is not long after Muhammad. This has happened thousand years ago. How this is a sign of a judgment day? Yes, this is science. You don't understand. No, right? no, no. I understand. He says they will fight you and they are your enemy. Yes. He didn't say they will convert to Islam. They have fight. <laughs> <laughs> they have fight. And by you the way, why that. why he's making fun of their look? Why your prophet making fun of, of the Turkish people? Why he is making fun because of their they face? They look like that. What, what's the problem? Ah, so you according to you, really, a human being who is a Turkish or Asian, he looked like we hit his face with the hammer. Yes, and he called the white redneck. Man, who who is the stupid he said that to you? Guys, did you he hear was, this? He agree with his prophet. He agree with his prophet that the Asian people they look like that. How they look like? They are like people who they are hit in their face with the hammer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let me ask you: from the signs of the judgment day, as long as you are talking about signs judgment judgment day, is it true that the most person Allah he hate is he black or white? Allah don't hate anybody in the color. Okay, I'm asking you, is it true? Which one? Is he black or he is white? I'm saying to you, Allah don't look at any colors. I don't what care. Do I'm asking mean? you, which one of them Allah he, he don't? Okay, what if I prove you wrong? Okay, prove me wrong. Okay, here we go. Show me that Allah says a man who is black, I hate him. Okay, here we go. Guys, did he say that for me? Okay, can you give me like two hours to find the hadith? No, why two hours? Okay, call me tomorrow because now there's people are calling. Why? We can talk. I why need to find it. I cannot talking? find this now. Ah, okay, okay. But let me ask you. Oh, no, I, I was joking with you. Here we go. The hate in front of me. Read it. The most person Allah he hate is a black man. Does it say wait. that or I'm making things up? Wait, wait. 
Let me see. let me read from the beginning. Where are you? Read as much as you want. Here we go. Let me read from the beginning. Where are you? Read from the beginning. This is not from beginning. Go to this go, is the beginning. This is the beginning. There, okay. Okay, Wait. here we go. Read. When Abdullah free freed slave of the message of Allah and said, When Ahara the Kawa set out and as he was with Ali ibn Talib. I don't know, may be pleased with him. Mm. They say there is no command but that of Allah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, upon this, Ali said, the statement is true, but it is intentionally applied to support a wrong cause. Mm. The messenger of Allah Sallallahu described the char char characteristics, and I found this characteristic in them. Mm. They state the truth with their tongue. Mm. But it does not go beyond this part of their bodies. Mm. Okay, and mm. the narrator pointed towards his throat. Mm. The most hateful among the creation of Allah is one black man among them. <laughs> He's talking about one one individ, individual. Yes, individual. but why he is the most hateful person? What what his color have to do? You said to me, Allah color, the color have nothing to do with Allah hatred to anyone. Why he is mentioning his color? He's mentioned this about a man. No problem. Why he is a black and why he is mentioning his color? What about I say I hate one of them? He is there wherever. Why he have to? Why he have to say he's a black? Okay. What, what, what are you thinking about this? That Allah hate people. The most black? person Allah he hate in the earth is a black man. Is that a true? Did I lie to you when I said that to you? You said to me, no. This is a lie. Yes, and he was kavairi. Doesn't His matter. So kavairi. the most, the most person Allah he hate in the earth is not a Trump. Is not me. It is a person. He is a black. Do you agree? Is one black man among them? Kavari. Doesn't matter. Does it, does it say? Does it say that the most hateful among the creation of Allah, the most, is a black mm -hmm. man? Yes or no? Well, don't you read? Allah is one, the creation of Allah is one black man among the Kawarij. Doesn't matter. This this addition is not it's not even there. Doesn't say Kawarij there. And the Hay doesn't say how this why it's between the two bracket. I don't care if they are Khawarij or Tawarij. Who care? I'm asking you why the most person Allah he hate is a black man. What is Khawarij? Khawarij supposedly those who they are uh, going out of the of that uh, true practice of Islam. Exact. Mm. So why why Allah uh -huh. he hate the black man? What the black man have why to do with this? Why are you looking things up? Why are so, you like so 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 because if if somebody he is a black man and he is not following the true Islam, Allah he hate he is the most hateful person for them what, the, what the, why the is the top person who Allah hate is a black man this is the question what about he is a Trump what about he is a redhead why he is a black why well, let me ask you is mm. is is the devil black man uh, no I think he's white okay what if I show you that your prophet even says that the one or the hadith says the one who said the prophet is black kill him Okay, but listen, read in Arabic. Hold on, hold like? on, hold on. You are the one who said to me, let me let us let us show some reference. You are the one who said to me that Allah hatred to color have nothing to do with the truth, correct? Yes. Okay, let us see if this is true or not. You can read in the Quran, it says we have made you into tribes, and the best among you are the one who have taqwa. That means fear in Allah. Mm. Yeah. Yes. He was talking to this who? Is, he was talking to who? This is what he says. Okay. Isn't it in the Quran? He says, "What a sweat do you? What a beard do you?" What is that? Hmm. Okay. What is that? Which mean Allah will make black faces and white faces. All the believers will Allah will make them white, and all uh, the less believers Allah will make them black. In the in the Quran. Yes, in the Quran. Okay. Well, show me then. Now read this hadith for me before we go there. <clears throat> Read it, please. Go ahead. So, so me. It's in, this is about sunset. No, this is about black and white. 
Allah Wasallam said, Allah created Adam, we had to create him, and he struck his right where white ants. Hmm. He struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black offspring as if they were. He then said from the right, for paradise, and I do not mind. Hmm. Then he said to those who had been emitted from his left shoulder, they... I cannot see the rest of the text. Hmm. There's no much there. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. Here we go. Can you read it for us? Because you are not you are reading yourself only. Uh, do you hear me? Yeah, I, I I want to read. I want you to read it for us. Read it. Are you proud about this? Yes, I read. I don't uh, see what's the problem. You don't see what the problem, guys. You don't see what the problem. Uh, they are for hell, and I do not mind. Hmm. Who are the, who are the one who would go to hell? Uh, show me, show me. What is the what is your point with this? Don't tell me, show me, show me. Here we go. I'm showing you who is the one who will go to hell according to your prophet. Who is the one who Allah created to hell? Uh, were, he struck his left shoulder and there emitted it, em, emitted from it the black offspring as if they were. Circle. What is this word? Circle. Like charcoal. you know the, the, the thing is, you do the, the black thing you do barbecue with. The burn uh. the burned wood. Okay. So now your God Allah He hit the shoulder of Adam in the left shoulder, and from there he emitted the black people. And then he said to those who they are from the left shoulder, which means the black, go to hell and I don't mind. And he said to the white ones, Go to heaven and I don't mind. Do you see it? To those who have been admitted from his left shoulder, they are for hell, and I don't mind. Hmm. Okay, what is what is uh, this? What about? is this? What is this? You're telling me what is this? Allah, He said He created the black people to go to hell and the white people to go to heaven, and I don't mind. That's what He said. Don't tell me what is this. Do you want more proof that your God is a filthy racist? No, he's not a racist. Who is Bilal? So you tell me, Bilal, oh, oh, guys, who is Bilal? Who is Bilal? Bilal is a slave. Muhammad died, and Bilal is a slave. Don't don't lie. He's a slave. He, yes, he's a slave. He out, yes, he is a slave. He bought him out. He bought him out from slavery. Don't uh, lie. No, 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 no. Nowhere. Show me the reference where he Muhammad he free him after Muhammad he died. Bilal he came to Abu Bakr and he said, "If you bought me for the sake of yourself, give me for yourself as yourself." If you bought me for the sake of Allah, free me for the sake of Allah. The poor guy, they promised him he will go to heaven. They promised him that you are good. Yeah, Allah, etc. They lied to him. The guy who was fighting them and bit Muhammad, he died. And yet he is still a slave. And now answer. Don't change the topic. Did your prophet say that Allah created the black people designed to go to hell? Uh, and they were emitted from it. Black also as it. They were. He then said from the right for paradise and I do not mind. Then he said to those who had been admitted from his left shoulder, they are all for hell and I don't mind. Mm. So, so Allah, he don't mind that the black, he created the people of who they are black to go to hell and he created the white red head to go to heaven. This is what the hadith is saying. Okay, and what is this for hadith? This is Jami Hadith al Turmudi and this is your Islamic website. Do you want me to show it to you? Here we go. This is uh, uh, al al org library Not my website. I have nothing to do with it. And this is a term the hadith number 38 uh. Okay, go sniff let us uh, take another uh, caller you are with me before long you're getting tired and spank very good So we got you busted. We got you busted go sniff there take drugs Sniff like a like a mule. Let us see this guy. He's trying to call Yes, Abdul, how are you? Hello. Yes, Abdul. Hello. Hello, hello, Abdul. Hello. Yeah, we hear you. You heard me? Yes, I do. Go ahead. Uh, how you doing? How's uh, everything, bro? And uh, uh, bro, okay, uh, I'm doing fine. Good, good. Alhamdulillah, I'm good too, okay? Alhamdulillah. So, what Alhamdulillah? You're trying to explain to this guy, right? Yeah. 
What this guy? So you are trying to tell them that uh, God created black people from the right shoulder hmm. and white people from the uh, from the right shoulder white people and from the left shoulder black people, right? You're right. trying to explain this, right? Right. Okay. So first, as I told you before, that you don't know anything about Islam, anything hmm. about Quran, nothing okay. about Hadith, right? Uh huh. So I'll explain to you right now. Okay, explain. Hadith. Okay. Okay. So in reality, this Hadith, the meaning of this Hadith is that black meaning the black people mm -hmm. it means the people who are black in their heart the people who are the, if, who if, if, in if, Allah, if, 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 if guys guys are black in their black. heart black in their heart do you see the do you see the word oh hold on, okay. hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on do you the see the, the that he's mentioning are those people who are with light abdul okay? abdul don't stop lying he says they are born he struck them and Hold they on. are born You're hold on connect. he said he says connect. from it the offspring he said the offspring of they are black like circle they wear not their heart they are born this way stop lying it's in front of you everybody is laughing at you they are born like circle why you are lying hello <laughs> <laughs> they are hard to black they have a black heart <laughs> I want to have a black heart too hmm. are you there Abdul I don't know what happened to him look like Allah he muted him Allah he said to him you idiot you you, you get us even more busted yes Abdul yes child child molester how are you how are you child molester listen Child molester Muhammad, you, your prophet is the one who who have sex with a child, and you are talking about child molester. Shame on you! Why can you not? What can you? Why can you not hmm. do one thing and be a man for one time in your life? I cannot. I cannot because in order to be why? a man for one time, I have to have a girlfriend so I can have a son. Me and Allah, we have, we have the same problem. He cannot have a son because he doesn't have a girlfriend, and that will make him a man. And I cannot have a son because I don't have a girlfriend, and that will make me a man. So, do you have a version for me? Okay, be 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 a be a be a man and tell me what kind of God this God is who say the black people will go to hell and he created them to go to hell and the white people, the blonde people, the white skinned people, they will go to heaven. What kind of God this God is? You are the one who did lie to me, and you said to me, Allah don't care for your color. And you Muslim, you quote for us the sermon, the last sermon of the Prophet. He said that there is no difference between the black and white, but this is a fabricated hadith. We cannot even find the reference of it. This is a big fat lie. It is not a hadith to be accepted. So you quote for us when you want a fabricated hadith, and you quote for us a hadith which is false just to prove a false point. Here we go, your Prophet saying clearly, and not only that. You said to me, where in the Quran it says black and white, yes? But what, where does it say that this this uh, hadith you have shown me, it's sahih? Well, for sure it's not sahih. Are you kidding me? The Muslim, they will they will eat their fingers, or they, they will reject it. <laughs> is it sahih or not? This is Jami al-Turmudi. Jami al-Turmudi is one of the six authentic hadith book. But on not only the book, Abdul, Abdul, this, okay, this, this, blah, 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 get lost. Next, anything we will show you is not Sahih. I don't care. You Muslims are a bunch of liars because if this is a false story, it's mean you Muslims are fabricating stories about your prophet. Shame on you. That means Islam did not make a good Muslims. Islam it, 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 pro, 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 provide devilish people. If you cannot even be truthful about your prophet, you will be truthful about what. If you're a scholar collecting stories and those stories are fabricated, that's mean you Muslims are a bunch of fabricators. When they when they see anything, don't call me. Let the other guy call me. Let the other guy call me. Somebody here understand what he's talking about. Who is a Muslim have the courage to answer? The devil is black. Do you know, guys, that the devil is black? Once in Facebook, a Muslim guy. Uh, I was posting about the, the, the black color and then and then uh, a Muslim he says have you ever see a black angel <laughs> oh boy this is how the Muslims defend their racism and their cult if we go in the hadith you will see Muhammad saying this and by the way this is even the Quran
Muhammad he claimed that the devil he will come as an African man. Yes, Abdul, why you are calling me? Yes, let me spank you. Okay, let me ask you: Is it true that the devil is a black man? If he is or not, what does what does it have to do? We need to tell me why the one who will destroy the Kaaba is a black man too. Why he is not a white man? Why he is not a Trump? Was Jesus white or black? We don't care. We I will worship him if he is an no, Asian. No, if you look at, care. I don't Answer care. No, show me. Okay, hold. Okay, let me show you. Let us in front of everybody. Can you show me one statement in the whole books of the Christians mentioned that Jesus was white? Nowhere. I can well, show you I tons of hadith about Muhammad. They speak about how white he is. Yes or no? Why are you putting image on him? That he no, I am not putting this. Is people make images. This is not, don't care if you go to China. Jesus look at Chinese for those people who make images. If you go to Philippines, he's a Filipino. If you go to Africa, he's an African. We don't care. And this is false uh, images. This is show those are false. Your, those your, are false your, images. Uh, this is beliefs. not. This is not from a Christianity. Have nothing to do with it. Yes. This is what people do. Now the I'm asking you. Christendom is doing this. That means you all of you are corrupted. Uh, uh, donkey, this is this is false. We don't do that. I don't do that. And if somebody mm. do that, this is yes. not. Uh, Abdul, you, you, you see, you are, you you are, are a hypocrite Arabian. now. You are trying to change the topic. It's you Muslims who make a fabrication, fabricated images of Ali and and Abu Bakr and Omar. Go and see. And, Go and go in Lebanon, go in Iran and laugh. You will go crazy. Now, I'm asking you why the devil is a black Ethiopian man? Why he is not European? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your prophet saying that the devil will come and will destroy the Kaaba, and he is an Ethiopian man. Okay. And he is making fun of his legs. Because he's an African. Okay. And you're a prophet. He spoke, by the way, about Bilal. He says, obey the order of your command because he put the black slaves in the command because they are good in fighting. They are good in in, 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 in their, their, their physical body structure is very good for war. So he said, obey your commander, even if he's a raising head. This is how he described the, the black people. Raising head. Everybody laughing at this garbage talking. This is going to be a prophet of God. And now he is saying, that the Ethiopian, the African, are the devil who will destroy the Kaaba, and he's making fun of the look of their legs. Ah, uh, so you are talking about slavery now? I'm not talking about slavery. I'm talking about the black people specifically. They are the devil in Islam. Read Leviticus 25:46. Here we you go. Shall Here, take we. Them. Mm. Here we go. Huh? <laughs> Uh, so, so, no, no, I, I don't want to read. You know, we, we know that in the Bible there was a slaves, and the Jews themselves they've been taken as a slaves. But you will not see in the Bible it says that the the black people are evil. But this is this is command. Shut from up! God. No, they have a slaves. Even the Bible says that a Jewish man he can offer himself, offer himself in slavery for seven years, which means servant to be a servant of somebody to pay his debt. So stop lying. Stop playing games. Why your God says that the Ethiopian, the African, they are the devil? Listen, why are you why are you trying to lie here? Why? Why I'm lying? Here we go. It's in the front of you. In, read it. Read it. In, in, in Leviticus 20, go, get lost. 20. Get lost. Get lost. Donkey. He cannot answer. He have to change the topic. There's a guy. His name is Abdullah. Okay, Abdullah, yeah, he's here. Let me call him. He's trying to call. Answer, Abdullah, answer. Are you going to answer or not? Uh-oh. See what they was gonna do? They call me when I'm talking. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hey, my friend. How are you? Good. How are you? They call me when I'm talking. Okay. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Mute you too, please. Um. So, uh, how are you, my friend? I'm very good. Okay. Thank, God, thank God for 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 being who I am. All right. Um. I just wanted uh, to. Clara, clarify something. Hmm. 
Are you a Muslim first? Yes, I am. How you, okay, are, do you have knowledge about Islam? Yes, I, I'm a, I'm a, I call myself a layman, but I have some knowledge. You have, you call yourself your what? A layman. Layman, what does that mean? A layman is someone who, who's not like a super knowledge, knowledgeable, but they have some knowledge. Oh, okay. So Mr. Layman, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. So what, um, so what you said about like in your argument right here hmm. that uh that the prophet peace and blessings be upon him said that a a, a, a black a man from utopia will de demolish the kaaba yes yeah so what i wanted to say about that is that's that's not being racist that's just stating a fact that will happen hmm really Hmm. Who is the one who tried to destroy the Kaaba first time? Isn't he Ethiopian too? The first time, hmm. where the Allah He sent the army of the uh, He to face the army of the elephant. According to your to you Muslims, according to your Prophet, he's from Ethiopia. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. how come how how come your Prophet is stuck with Africa and that they are the one who will destroy the house of Allah? When the fact, the, when the fact is the one who destroyed the house of Allah was white man. What do you mean it was a white man? Al Qurmati. Al Qurmati is a white Arab man. He is not an African. He is not from Ethiopia. He destroyed the black the, the Kaaba. He screamed in the middle of the Kaaba, saying, "Where are you, Allah? Where is the where is the birds? It's a big fat lie." And then he took the black stone and he used it as a poop stone for more than twenty one years. So your prophet prophecy is a false prophecy. The one who took the black stone was a white man, and his name is Al Qurmati. And not only that, the Muslims, in order to get the black stone back, they have to bribe him. They contacted with Hakim bi Amrullah al Fatimi, the Caliphate of Egypt, who was a Shia, and they asked him, "Can you please talk to Al Qurmati so he can we can get the black stone back? Because now we have no Kaaba and we have no black stone. How we can worship Allah? So they bribe him, they give him money, and then he send him back the black stone. Yes or no?" Okay, I wanted to tell you something. Tell me something. I like something always. Yeah, whether mm. the Kaaba is there or it's not there, mm. uh, we we it doesn't matter to us because Allah is always there to worship. Mm. This is not the question. Allah, He said in the chapter of the elephant that Allah protect the Kaaba from an army of the Ethiopian. They came with their elephant. Why they are Ethiopian? And why he focused Muhammad that even in the future an Ethiopian will come and they destroy it for real and but why Muhammad did not prophesy that the one who will destroy the Kaaba is a white Arab man and he will take the black stone and where is the elephant how come Allah protected the, the Kaaba first time but he didn't want to protect it when Al Qurmati he came and Al Qurmati not only he destroyed the Kaaba he was screaming to Allah he says where are the elephant where is their birds where is your protection huh where he challenged Allah in the middle of the Kaaba at that time, a lot of people left Islam because they noticed that this Kaaba is nothing but a fairy tale story, and the Kaaba is protected, and the Kaaba story is nothing but the garbage. So now, explain to me how Al Qurmati destroyed the Kaaba when the chapter of the elephant. You heard of the chapter of the elephant before? Yes. Okay. The chapter of the elephant is about an army of elephant came to destroy oh, the Kaaba. Read it. I read it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how Allah He protect the Kaaba when the Kaaba was surrounded by idols? But Allah don't protect the Kaaba when the Kaaba have only Muslims and the guy he killed more than 10,000 Muslim around the Kaaba 10,000 and Allah did not send his birds No, the the army was destroyed before reaching Mecca. No problem But the, the army of Al Qurmati not destroyed. He took Mecca. He killed 10,000 people in Mecca and he took the black stone So the lie here in the chapter of the elephant chapter 105 about an army who come to destroy the Kaaba and Allah he sent his birds if 16 birds it was a lie it's not a lie so why he did not send his bird to defend the Muslims when the, he came to destroy the Kaaba and the guy not only destroyed the Kaaba he was screaming saying Allah hey where are you making fun of Allah what is your birds is if this is not the time to send the birds where Allah he need to send the birds a guy challenging Allah in the middle of the Kaaba and he have his foot over the black stone don't you see uh, uh, chapter 105 verse number three and he sent against them flights of birds? Okay, well, so I'm saying where is the birds? Where is the birds when Al-Qurmati he came 
and he destroyed the Kaaba and he took the black stone. Are you listening, my friend? Where is the bird which is in the chapter of 105 which came to fight the elephant army? Why Allah did not send his birds to fight that army, which is the army of Al Qurmuti, who destroyed the Kaaba, make fun of Al Kaaba, and he decided that Al Kaaba we do not need it, it's a stupid thing, it's a pagan. Al, uh, wait, let me just clarify here who's Al Qurmati? Al Qurmati, you see, you are a person, you told me you are a lame, you are what? Lame, lame, and not what? A layman. Layman, layman, sorry, if, excuse my English, you are a layman, I look like your layman is not working. You, if you don't know what Al Qurmati, go right now and search in YouTube. You will see many Islamic scholars speaking about how Al Qurmati destroyed the Kaaba, and he was screaming, saying, "Allah, what is your bird? <laughs> what is your bird? Huh? What is your bird? It's a lie." So, if you do not know, this is your business. Now, as long as we are talking about this chapter of the elephant, have you ever heard of an army of elephant walking in the desert? Yeah, how they can survive. Do you know how much how much water an elephant he need every day? A lot of water. Okay, how then they can come all the way to Mecca without that water? If if God decrees something it will happen my friend are they the, the army of God or the army of the enemy? So Allah he provide them water you are saying to me Oh, you're talking because the enemies had elephants, right? Yes, the enemy have elephants. So how the army of the elephant, which is the enemy of Allah, they can come all the way in the desert with no water. Do you know Arab al Khali? The area if they want to come from the side of Ethiopia, they have to go through Arab al Khali, which means the empty quarter. The reason it's called empty quarter because there's no water. No, nothing can survive there. It's dead. It is just a golden sand very fine even if you walk in it your feet will go down in the sand so how in the world an, an, an army of elephant can go there they probably had lots of supplies with water because absolutely water. guys they have supply of water how that can be man i mean are you kidding me supply of water walking in the desert with elephant they need yeah. 600 liter of water a day for every elephant My friend, they, they're... Listen, listen, I will be merciful to you. I will change the topic. I want you to tell me something to prove to me Islam is from God. Do you see the picture for uh, in front of us in the, in, the, in, the, in the screen? Yeah. Your prophet, he kissed the black stone. Why? Because the black stone came from heaven. Okay. And if the black stone came from heaven, we kiss it? Uh, yeah, he kissed it because it came from heaven. So that's why um, it's... Everyone when they see the black stone they kiss. So it. what does that mean? The black stone is holy It's it's not necessarily holy. It's it ju it's just the fact that it is it came from is it heaven. dirty? Is it dirty then? No, so why you kiss it? Why he kiss it if it's not holy? Because it came from heaven. Okay, so what if it's came heaven? if we have tons of rocks filled every night from the space? So why are, are we going space, to uh, you can't compare space to heaven Oh, what is heaven? What is heaven for you? Heaven is created by God that hmm. the eye can't, that the brain can't even imagine. So in the heaven of Allah, he have a lot of rocks like those? I don't know. I don't know about. Do you see the, do you see the screen with me? Yes, I okay. do. Okay. Do you see what are we talking about? Yeah. Which one of the, which one of the images you see in front of you is the black stone? This one in the right or this one in the left? The one in the right. Not true. The one in the left is the true, true black stone. Those are eight black stones, small, tiny ones. So you, you, how you say that Allah, he sent this from heaven. This is stupid. How in the world that you find those stones to be sent from heaven? Read with, look, look with me carefully, my friend. Stone number one. Stone number two. Stone number three. Number four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight little tiny stones and they don't even match in color. How those are sent from heaven? My friend, you're mixing apples with oranges. Mm. How is that? Because just because they're different in color doesn't mean they don't come from heaven. Okay, no problem. But how how we have them, how you call it a black stone? We should call it black stones. And they are not black, actually. You will see that some of them they are black, some of them they are not. 
now how you know that those little tiny stones are sent from heaven because it's been said but who wait I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the the hadith okay hmm the, the hadith says that Allah he sent down eight little tiny stones not it might no hmm Uh, okay, um, it says in if you go to uh, sunnah.com, it says in uh, and you search up the black stone, it'll, it'll pop up. Oof, that's deep, okay. And yeah, and it says the black stone is from paradise, okay. And what does this have to do with my question? It says that the black stone is from paradise, but it's not a stone as you see, it's a small, tiny stone. So, this hadith is gonna be, gonna be true. The hadith you mentioned to me it says the black stone first of all they are not a black secondly they are small tiny and they are not really in the same color so how it says a black stone but they are stones and how it says it's coming from heaven and Allah he sent you little tiny thing this is from heaven and this is what is making the Kaaba holy now those little tiny ones those what is that those are the teeth of, of, a, of a baby child who lost his teeth how this is going to be a holy stone and why, why the prophet he said you said to me it is coming from heaven so so what let us say it's coming even from under the under the ass of Allah so why wanna kiss it it's a stone you're very, you're sir you're very disrespectful I don't I respect you know no I don't respect my friend I'm an Arab we Arab we don't respect anything in case you do not know I'm an Arab oh you are an Arab yes uh, sadly but I can do I can't change that okay so now I'm asking you why your prophet kiss it they are little tiny stones and is it is it true that your prophet he says that uh, the, the black stone is going to have eyes is going to witness that, in the judgment day that it's gonna have eyes yes um, I don't know about that yeah, yeah you know you said to me you have a lot, you have knowledge look like you don't know nothing I, anything I have some knowledge I said I have some ah you have some I like your some anyway so uh, my friend so when your prophet he said that the black stone is going to have eyes and is going to witness for you in the heaven of Allah or that sorry in the judgment day of Allah does that mean the black stone is an assistant for Allah okay look I'm gonna wait wait what was your question <laughs> is this black stone is going to witness for you in the judgment day and as an assistant for Allah why the black stone need to witness for you in the judgment day You hear me yeah I hear you yeah why the black stone is going to be having two eyes and is going to have a tongue do you see a hadith in front of you oh yeah 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 I see it mm. the man, the so the black man. stone is going to have tongue is going to have eyes which I like really I'm, I don't mind if the black stone have that because it's just in case the human being tries to lie it's gonna it's gonna speak against the, ah, the lion. so the black stone will get you busted uh -huh. yeah i thought allah is all knowledgeable anyway who need the black stone don't allah he, he knew if he commits sin or not huh but he is all knowledgeable but he's gonna have something that speaks against you so people like you are shocked and their mouth is if, wide if, 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 if i'm really shocked now let us let us do this based on what you just said to me my friend allah yeah. is going to make a mouth for the black stone and this is the tongue of the black stone coming out it's going to talk Listen, listen. And then it's we going to be it's going we to don't. have eyes. Hold on, hold on. Let us let us make an image correctly so people they can understand. And this is the two eyes of the black stone. How sexy. All right. So now we have a stone, have two eyes, and have a tongue, and the stone in the judgment day will start saying we have more than a billion in Muslim. So the black stone is going to witness for every one of them. Why? You said. So you cannot lie well can you lie to Allah if he is God so you are saying to me that Allah he made a stone as his secretary no what do you mean what no 
You are the one who said that to me. You said to me that the stone is going to get you busted. The stone is going to tell you if you are lying. Yeah, it is. So the stone I, is the secretary of Allah. No, Allah doesn't need a secretary. Okay, well, it, it is. A, it says that the, uh, the the black stone is the, the right hand of Allah. Yes or no? Show me. Show me? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let us let us find you the hadith. Okay. Go ahead. The black stone is the right hand of Allah. Let us see if we can find you. Okay. I hope you know that just like the Bible, the Quran and Hadiths have an hermeneutics and exegesis. Uh, uh, read with me carefully, my friend. The black stone is the right hand of Allah and earth. Shaykhul Islam Ibn Taymiyyah. Musnad Ahmad, Musnad al Tabarani. Mu'ajam Abu Ubaid. The black stone is the right hand of Allah. What do you say? You're a prophet, this he said. Probably, yep. This probably has a deeper meaning, which I don't no, understand. Yes, yes, absolutely. The black stone is the right hand of Allah on earth. Whoever touch it or kiss it, it is as if he shake the hands with Allah and kiss his right hand. And as you see over here, it also says only those who do not think them over will not understand them. Now, you, do you understand it yourself? Yeah, I I understand what it says right here, but... What do you understand? Explain to us. Here we go. If you kiss the black stone as if you kiss the right hand of Allah. Let us see your intelligence. Go ahead. We are not smart like you, and you are the one who will explain to us how if we kiss the black stone, we are kissing the right hand of Allah. The black stone came from heaven, so that's like must be a like a very small portion of it. Mm, so this is how how that will make it the right hand of Allah. We don't know because we don't know what Allah's hands look like. Mm -hmm. Well, we know how it look like. It's a black stone now. No. Here we go. Read with me. The black stone is the right hand of Allah on earth. Whoever touch it or kiss it, it is as he shake the hand of Allah. Does it say that or I'm making things up? No, it says that on the screen. Okay. So it is the right hand of Allah. Your God, Allah, is an idol. And he have a hand. No. It's a black. It's, okay, how he is not an idol, but his hand is a stone. His hand is not a stone. Do, do you look? Look. Let's let's read it together. Mm. The black stone is the right hand of Allah on earth. Whoever touches it or kisses it mm. is it. It is as if. Mm. Wait, as if he. Like as if he. Touch? As if he kiss. As if he kiss. Okay, no problem. Yeah, okay, as so as how as I can it. compare between a stone and God if he is not a stone himself? Can we compare a stone to God? Can I say if you kiss a stone as if you kiss Allah and unless he have a hand and his hand is a stone? No, no. Okay, let me ask you. Hold on. You are a Muslim, right? Yes. Did you kiss the black stone? I, I've never uh, went to Mecca, so no. You don't know what are you missing, man? You should go. Because kissing the black stone, according to Muhammad, Will erase your sin how if we kiss a stone or touch a stone that will erase our sin do you have an idea no uh, no i don't is it don't you think if somebody believed that a stone can erase your sin touching stones that is pagan be honest with me try to be honest please if somebody believe that touching stones will erase your sin, don't you think that I'm, this is paganism? I mean, if it's a command from if it's a command from the prophet of God, mm. then then obviously 
he's more knowledgeable than us and what he you see he you're not answering you're not answering this is not what I'm asking you how if I touch a stones that will erase my sin unless I am a pagan person if somebody believe by touching stones he is his sin is forgiven obviously he's a pagan man do you believe really if you touch stones that will erase your sin yeah yeah okay here we go guys so this guy he believes so Islam is a pagan religion there's no way if uh, somebody Wait. believed that touching because what does that mean the stone is holy and the stone have the authority of God to forgive sin that's what you are saying to me how the stone will forgive your sin because that's a command from from Allah what command of Allah okay this is a stone he is saying if you touch the stone if you touch the stone your sin is forgiven so now I can go and rape some women and rape some children and they can go touch the stones and then my sin is forgiven. That is, this is garbage. No, that's not what it means. This so what it means. It says, it says, whoever touched them and whoever go around them as its sin is forgiven is erased. Not only forgiven, actually, it's erased. Erases. That's it. You became pure as yeah, if you are so born yesterday. What this means, what this means is if you do Hajj, your sins are forgiven. My friend, he's saying if you do Hajj or if you say whoever touch them. Okay. If you don't, if you do Hajj and you don't touch them, you did not do what is going to forgive your sin. Read it carefully. Whoever touch them and circulate around them. So here, if you touch them, if you circulate around them as if you're free a slave, because Islam uh, have, have two ways to free a slave. As a penalty or as a reward what does that mean if a person he be convert to Islam the owner he is a free to free him because the, the slave convert to Islam but you don't have to which means still you can own a slave he's a Muslim like Bilal but as a penalty the Quran says if you kill somebody as a penalty for killing a Muslim a Muslim only then you have to free a slave so Muhammad he, he used it as a penalty not as a reward for the slaves themselves here you see that if you go around the Kaaba, so now if I kill somebody, and now uh, the Quran says, a free a slave if you kill somebody by, let us say, uh, a Muslim believer. So the Quran, Muhammad, he gave them a solution. Okay, don't uh, free a slave. It's just a, something I said, I don't mean. Go around the Kaaba seven times, it's the same. How in the world that can be the same? How freeing a human being who is a slave is equal to going around the Kaaba seven times, and now nobody want to free a slave no more because all what they need to do, they go around the Kaaba seven times. You're you're mixing apples with oranges. You, you, uh, you my understand. friend, I like apples. I like oranges. That will make nice juice. It's not good. It's not a bad thing. But now you are the one who makes black stones with God. In one hand, you say to me, "You worship God." In the other hand, you say to me, "If I touch them, that forgive my sin." No. So what it's saying, if you do Hajj, you all, your sins will forgive will be forgiven. Hajj no, if so you forgiven. touch them, the sin will be forgiven, will be erased. If you touch the stones, the two corners, the Yemeni corner and the black stone, there's two corners. Stones brought from Yemen, which from the temple of the of the moon, and stones, which is the black stone, those are if you touch them both, Allah erase it, it says erase your sin. So, what kind of religion this religion is? Again, you will say to me, you are mixing lemon with uh, with apple. I like that. Not, not, that's not a problem because both are good fruits and very healthy. What kind of a healthy religion is saying to you, go and touch stones, and if you do that, that erase your sin? Okay, I'll explain to you. One second. Hmm. It's really funny that you never saw this before, and in a second you are able to explain to me. I mean, you are like knowledge inspiring coming to you from God. If you never heard this before, how you can explain it to me? You will see. Mm, go ahead. Okay, just just give me. Do you do you feel like you want to call a friend? A friend? Uh, no, I won't. I won't call a friend. You want to call your four wives as an example? Anything? I don't know. Anyone can help you. Okay, my friend, you can go and uh, look and you can call me later. No problem. It's okay. No, 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 no. 
Why don't we talk about something else then? Okay, we can talk about something else. Have you ever heard of something called something else before? Yeah. Okay, what something else mean? Did your prophet spoke about something else? About let's talk about a different topic. No, no, no. we are talking about something different and right now. No, you, why, why don't you listen to me for once? Okay, go ahead. I will listen to you. So, as Muslims, we I suppose you know that we believe Jesus is the messenger of God, right? Where where, where is mentioned uh, Jesus in your religion? In the Quran. Where? Okay. Here it's mentioned in here. Uh, um, I don't know. As I know, I never heard of this before. This is new for me. That's why I like you to teach me. Can can I give you again? Can you give me a second? Don't talk, please. I will go. Uh, just I need to bring some water. Is that okay? Okay, go ahead. All right. Thank you very much for your generation generosity. All right, my friend, go ahead. Did okay. you find did you find Jesus in the Quran? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Where? Quran, chap, chapter three, verse number forty-five. Man, I, I don't know how I missed that one. Uh, chapter three, verse what? Uh, chapter three, verse number forty-five. How I did not notice this one. Okay, uh, can you read it for me? Remember when the angels proclaimed, Oh Mary, God gives you good news of a word. From him, his name will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, mm. honored in this world and the hereafter. And okay. he will be one of those nearest to God. All right. Does it say there the word Jesus? Yeah. I don't, I don't see it. I see it. It says uh, Isa. Isa is, an, Isa is his uh, Arabic name. Mm. Isa is an Arabic name. I am an Arab. And we Christians, Arab Christian, we never, we never heard of a guy. His name is Isa. Who's Isa? We call him Yesu in Arabic. Yesu al Masih. We don't have yeah. Isa. Okay, how Isa, how Yesu a... how Yesu became Isa? There's a huge difference between them. Okay, I'm sorry. Not his Arabic name. His Muslim name. Oh, Muslim name. How come Muhammad he got the wrong name for for Yesu? I mean, if his name is Yesu, it's just it. His name is Yesu, Yesu or Yeshua. We don't do how how he made his name Isa. That's how he's called in the Quran. That's what God called him, and that that's it. Ah, okay, that's a good. Uh, you know, okay. Let me let me ask you. So uh, Isa is born of a woman. Her name is Mary, correct? Yeah. His correct. name is Mary or Maryam. Her name is Maryam. Okay, Maryam is the daughter of who? Maryam is the daughter of um, dun, 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 of uh, Imran. Imran, okay. Moses, says, what is the name of his father? The name of Moses' father? Mm -hmm. Do you like to search? In the, uh, search Prophet, Muhammad, uh, Prophet Moses in Islamic way. You know, don't search like a Christian. Search as Muslims. What Muslims believe? What is the name of the father of Moses? Okay.
says over here that generally names his father Imran. Hmm. And Mary, she have the same father. I mean, do you, do you what do you think about this? So Moses, his father is Imran, and Mary, her father is Imran. Do you agree with that? But <clears throat> look like they are brothers and sisters. Are they brothers there, and sisters? Is, is is Mary the is, is Mary? Hold on. Oh, is Mary the sister of Moses? No. But the Quran says yes. Chapter 19, verse number 28. It says that she is the sister of Aaron, and Aaron is the brother of Moses. So not what we have now. And can you, you are the one. Can you say the Can you say the chapter again? Chapter 19, verse number 28. Chapter 19, verse 28. Yes. Okay. Give me a second. Okay, I'm there. So now we have Moses. He is the brother of Mary, and Moses' father. His name is Omron. And Mary' father, her name, his, her father' name is Omron. They have the same father name, and the Quran says that Mary is the sister of Aaron. So now we have Mary, the sister of Aaron, the sister of Moses. Oh, you, you, you misunderstood. You really? misunderstood. Uh huh. How? Okay. So can I can I explain to you? Go ahead, please. Okay. So, there they said the reason why they said that is because they didn't like. Because they uh, they thought she did adultery, so they said, "Oh, sister of Aaron," mm. because um, because they didn't ex ex expect her to do something terrible like that. Because they held Mary in high esteem, mm. just like mm. just like Aaron and Moses. Mm. Really? Yeah, that's funny. But so, how the uh, the father of Mary became the same father of uh, Aaron? How both of them, their name is Omron. Is that true? I don't know. Do you know anywhere in the Quran where it says uh, the name of Moses' father? You are the one who said to me that Mura or Moses is his father is Omron, not me. You are just a second ago. You forgot. You search on Google. You come... I, I said that. Okay, okay. I said so, that. Okay, so Omron is the father. This is what it says. Omron, according to Muslims, Omron father is uh, Omron is the father of Moses and Aaron. So what your prophet did. After the Christians, they start laughing at him because this is stupid to say between Miriam, the mother of Jesus, and Moses, there's hundreds of years. So Muhammad, he had to cover his madness that this is not an error, but it's too late now. He said, oh, they used to call them by their uh, ancestors, the good ones of them. First of all, the Jews never accused uh, Mary that she is a prostitute because simply Mary, she was married legally. She is married to a man. His name is Joseph. Or what? Or what they have? The no, Jews? No, no Mary was never married. Mary no, was friend, never my friend, my friend. ever, no, hold on, ever hold on. married. No, no. And, and, and the Bible says she was engaged. Engagement in the Jews' tradition is marriage, without yet the women moving to the house of the husband and sleeping with him. So legally, she is married, which means if she have children, nobody can accuse her of adultery. Otherwise, the Jews well, will stone her. The well, Jews will. According well, according to the Quran, she didn't have any husband. Mm. She was a chat. Ch no, a according to the Quran. Chastity. No, according to the Quran, it doesn't say she don't have a husband. It doesn't say she did not know a man. And this is what the Bible says too, that she did not know a man, but she is already engaged to a person. So here we notice Muhammad. He mixed up between the Old Testament, where it says that there is a there is a woman. Her name is Maryam. She is the sister of Aaron and Moses. Muhammad, he thought, she is the sister of Aaron and Moses. This is exactly what is written in the Old Testament. You are a prophet, is a false prophet who copy names. Can you explain to me then why the father of Moses and the father of Mary have the same name? Is that a mistake? Okay, I, I searched I searched uh, the father of uh, Musa and and Google, mm. and it showed and it just said um, that Musa's father's name is Imran. But mm. there is no, uh, there is no proof stating that is mm. from the Quran that uh, his father's name is. Imran. Yeah, this is from your prophet's statement. That he says that Omran is the father. This is why the whole chapter is called the chapter of Omran, chapter number three, verse number, yeah. v chapter number three, called the chapter of Omran. Do you know why? Because this is the family of a person whose name is Omran. So 
This is the story of Ali Umran, the people of Umran. Who is Umran? He is the father of Moses, and he is the father of uh, Aaron, and he is the father of Mary. But but if you go and search in the Bible, you will find that this is a joke. First of all, the father of Moses, his name is not Umran. His name is Umram. According to the you know, so he got the name wrong. What Umran? Sorry, uh, 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 the the name of the father of Mary. So uh, uh, the, the 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 name of the father of Mary is wrong, and the name of the father of uh, Moses is wrong. So you're a prophet. He could not pronounce correctly the the names. He but heard the Jews no. saying Umram, no. so he said you, this is Umran. Are you saying Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him said that Moses' uh, father's name was Imran? Yes, and here we go. This what? Where is the name Amran coming from? There's no, there's no, nothing in the in the in the Jewish scriptures, anywhere. It says all in the New Testament. It says the word Amram, Amran. There's Amram. So your prophet he missed between the letters. There's no Amram in the Quran, but in the Bible it is Amram. So your prophet I mean, could not. Your I prophet. Mean, their could have. I mean, their fathers could have have the same name. My friend, how this has happened, and how he's saying he she is the sister of Aaron, and now he is quoting the wrong words even for Jesus. Now let me ask you, forget about this. Okay. Can you show me one thing will prove to you that uh, Islam is from God or Quran is from God or anything? Give me something good about Islam to make me believe. Like if you want to okay. convert somebody, if you are sitting with okay. somebody and you want to convert him to Islam, what do you say to him? Okay. In 1440 years, the mm -hmm. Quran has never changed, but the Bible has changed thousands and thousands of times. Really? Yep. Okay, so why the Quran says the Bible never changed? Where where does it say that? In front of us. In front of us. Yeah. Chapter 2, verse number 89, chapter 291, chapter uh, chapter 10, uh, 2, verse 101, chapter 2, verse number 213. Chapter two eighty nine. Let us go. go let there. us go one by one. Okay. All right. When they have a book come from Allah, confirming what that in their possession does. It, do you see it? Where are you? Chapter two, verse number eighty nine. Yeah, I'm there. Okay. Does it say that this is confirming what in their possession? What that means is that they rejected the Quran. This is another question. It says that this book confirming what in their position. Yeah. What is in their position? Oh, and when they're. I will give you the three options. Oh, the, book that, uh, the book that is in their possession is the Quran. No, my friend. The the book in their position. Those are the people of the book. No, it's it's the position in their the book in their position is the Quran. Okay, well, hold on. Yeah. So so the 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 position, Allah He sent the book to confirm the Quran. No, I I I just told you the book that it's talking about in this verse is the Quran. <laughs> okay, let me ask you, if I give you right now the Bible and it is corrupt as you said, do you swear on it? Do I swear on the on the Bible? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Why you will not swear? Because it's 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 not a book from God. So only false people they will swear in it, correct? Not false people, but people who don't believe in the truth. But if one if someone knows that this is a corrupt book, a Muslim should can a Muslim swear by it? By the book. By the Bible? Yeah. Can a Muslim swear by the Bible if it's corrupt? No. Why he cannot? Because that will make him go to hell. No, because the Bible isn't isn't it's not from God. It was so it yeah. So can, can a Muslim? Okay, if a Muslim, if a Muslim came. swear, if a Muslim swear by the book is not from God anymore, is he committing a big sin? Will make him go to hell, or this is okay? 
No, a, a person should only swear either by God or by the Quran. Okay, so I'm saying to you, if he do that, is he committing a big sin to Allah? Yeah, he is. And he is being a hypocrite because he knew the book is not true, yet he swear by it, right? Exactly. Thank you very much. So why your prophet he swear by it? Exactly. By by what did my prophet swear your by? Your prophet he swore he swear by the Torah. He swore by the Torah. Yes, and you said to me exactly. You agree with me. I said to you that if he is doing that, he is a hypocrite liar. You said exactly. So you're a prophet. He swear by the Torah, and not only that, he say I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Okay, let me explain to you. A, a second ago, you explained to me, and you yeah. said to me, the one who do that, he is committing yeah. a big sin, and he is yeah. a hypocrite, and he is a liar. Now you want to explain to me? So you see how you change your position. So you okay. you you are a person okay. who is sitting who is sitting in a in a in a top of a of a of a nail and he changed his ass from side to side because the nail is making a hole in there. So now a second ago your nail was a sweet in you you are fine with it and you were saying to me free answer okay the one who do that it's wrong it's sin yes he's a hypocrite he's a liar he should not do that the second I said to you you're a prophet he said that suddenly you want to explain to me okay. Okay, Mr. Uh, Mr. Smart. Be honest with me. me be, be honest with me. Have you ever heard this before? About this hadith? Yes. No, I have not. And so how come you can explain to me in a speed of light? I just mentioned it to you and right away let me explain to you. Okay, so no no, no I'm asking you how you can do that. I mean you must be a miracle of God. A second ago you were explaining to me and with confidence. A second after I said to you your prophet the second I said to you, your prophet did that you don't even know the hadith you do not even read the hadith you never heard the hadith and right away you said to me let me explain to you okay so can can I can I no no how you can do that I want to be like you I wish I can be smart like you how you can explain something you did not even read yet okay okay can I say something please no you cannot you need to explain to me how you can do that it's a miracle of Allah <laughs> How you can explain to me you something you did not even read? Well, will you let me speak, please? Go ahead. Okay, so you're you're very no, you're a very knowledgeable person. I you, billah, billah, I do not know much. I do not know. I am illiterate. Yeah. I am an Arab. Okay, go ahead. Like you, um, like you, uh. You obviously know a, a lot of hadiths and you know like the a lot of verses of the Quran, correct? I'm trying. You know, actually, I have a friends here. They are helping me. Jibril, he's helping yeah. me. So Jibril. Since so, since I'm not, I'm I'm just like I said, a layman. Mm. So I I haven't read all the like. A lot of hadiths. Mm. I, I I haven't read the whole Quran in English. Okay, forget about this. Forget about. It. Let us talk about something you read. Let us talk about something you read. Is it true that your God Allah have a? Uh, is your God Allah have a spirit? Does it, Allah have a spirit? Yes. Is he a spirit? He have a spirit. What What is the nature of Allah? Do you know? My God, that, my God. Let me introduce my God to you. My God is a spirit. He is know, a spirit. I know. I know. I know. Okay. I know very is your much. God? I, I is your a Catholic is, school. Is your God Allah spirit? No. Okay. So how your God is a living God if you don't have a spirit? Because the spirit is the power of life. If you have no spirit, yet he is a physical being. He have hands. He have legs. He's a physical being. How he is alive if he is just a physical being have no spirit and he is not a spirit how he can be alive Okay, um Because all God is the he was there from the beginning and he will be there till the very end mm, Actually my friend this is this is a true story Allah is there from the beginning But there's no proof of Allah to be from the beginning or his we in the end or what you know about Gurgala is nothing it's just somebody so, saying something to you. I'm asking you. This not. This has nothing to do with my topic anyway. He is. Okay. From the, let us assume he is from the beginning. Now, nice to meet you from the beginning. But this is not the question. How so, Allah? Okay. How Allah is alive, but yet he is not a spirit, and he have no spirit, but yet he is a physical being. Let me tell you something. I have a table here. Yeah. It is not a spirit and has no spirit, and it exists. Does that mean this is Allah? No. Okay. So now we. Because 
if so, Allah so how Allah can be alive him. how Allah is alive but he, he is not a spirit and he have no spirit life is the power of life we know he's alive through through the How because you know? of the signs, the sun and the moon, the sun and the moon and the Ooh, trees. Ooh, the sun of the moon and the trees. This is the proof that Allah is alive. That's really crazy. And the my earth friend, and the oceans and this whole universe. Okay, my he friend, my friend. Okay, okay. Let me ask you. Okay. Do your God Allah knows how the sun move? If He is the God of the sun, He created the sun. Do Allah Allah knows how the sun move? Yeah, he he's the creator of the sun. Oh, well, uh, then if he is the creator, then he should know where the sun goes every day. Do he knew? Of course. So how in the Quran he says that the sun sit in the murky water? The sun set in a what water? Murky water, muddy water. What do you say? Can you please give me the uh, verse? Chapter 18, verse number 86, as Eight. Jibreel told me. Okay. Hmm. All right, one second. Hmm. To to this person, Dal Karnain, that's how the sun looked like. That that was in his view. This is his view. It doesn't say that, my friend. It says Allah is talking. He says, and when he reach the setting place of the sun, did you see that? The one yeah. is talking here is not Dal Karnain. It is Allah talking. He reach the place where the sun set. Do you, does it say that? Mm -hmm. So it's a location where the sun set. Come on, we have to be honest here. By the way, I mean myself as an Arab, we Arab, we find that we are the only one knows where the sun set. But I'm not going to tell you because that will make a lot of tourists go to my to, to my dad farm. So uh, he found where the sun set as a place. He found the sitting, he reached, he was walking, 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 and then he reached the sitting place of the sun. So this is not about how he see, this is, he yeah. Allah, Allah is reporting a fact. Yeah. Okay, so Allah reporting a fact, and the fact is, He reach where He give us a position. What position? The place where the sun set. Allah is saying that, not Zulkarnain. We have to be honest here. Okay. Um, and He so found it. Who is talking still? Allah. He found it. Who is the one saying found it? You see. Allah did not say and he thought he said he found it so he is reporting a find and the find is in the about the Sun and where the Sun set so Allah here is the only one is talking reporting what happened exactly he found it sitting in a muddy spring this is why if you notice in the morning sometimes the Sun look dirty and this has happened always in the Middle East. I don't know in America. I don't know how they can wash it. I think they do it on purpose to make the sun not like coming from the mud, just to deceive the Christians and the Jews. So the sun really, in my country where I'm coming from, every morning you will find a lot of mud in the, in the eyebrows and etc. And then after that, it clear out because, you know, take a shower, etc. And the rain. And then Allah here is showing us that he is the God, the creator who knows how the sun is made. And how the sun move as you see what do you yeah. think do you agree with allah that the sun sit in a murky water i agree 100 percent. oh that's wonderful what is the school you go to my friend you said you go to school what is your education my school is a catholic school okay but what does have to do with the, my my question what is what is your what is your education in your in your catholic ch ch school they taught you that the sun sit in the murky water
No. Okay, so now where you get this knowledge now that you agreed with Allah that the sun set in murky water? Is that something you watch in Discovery Channel? Is that something you see in the, where? How you get this knowledge? I mean, this is astonishing. Because uh, we know it's the truth because it's from Allah. Ah, this is the truth. So you are saying to me, according to you, the sun every day go from the east to the west and take and it, it, it dump itself inside the murky water like a pig, like a khanzir. Why the sun is doing that? And where is that water? Do you know where is that water? Okay, as long as you agree that the sun set in the murky water, do you know where is that water? Because he reporting the story of what happened in the earth. This is Alexander the Great, Zulkur 9. He's a human like us. He's walking in the earth, and he yeah. found where the sun set in. So the, the sun set inside the muddy water in the earth. Do you know the location? What country do you think that, that muddy water is exist? Which, which lake? Maybe the Great Lake in Michigan? Uh, I don't know what it, what this, what's the, you can't base a book off one verse, just like before you said about the Bible. Yeah, my friend, but you just said to me, you agree, you agree that this is sunset in the murky water, but this guy, he is talking about people who live in this earth and he is a man you, who live in this earth. So where we can find the location of this, where we can find the hermeneutics of this verse, which I haven't looked at. No problem, but you agreed. You said we agreed that the sun set in Mercury, so you agreed already. It's too late now. So now, as long as you agree with it, where we can find? Do you know how big the sun is? It's it's a uh, huge. Huge. Is it bigger than the Earth or smaller? Bigger. So how the sun can dump itself in a muddy water in the Earth if it's bigger? How do you know that's the meaning? It could mean someone something else. Well, you, a second ago, you agreed with me, and you said yes. You change your your position now. I misheard you. I'm sorry. Ah, you repeat that many times, and you said yes. We agree with Allah as long as Allah He says that we agree. And now you are saying I miss. This is dishonesty, my friend. So okay, let us go back to zero. So Allah He is saying that He found the sun sitting in murky water. Explain to us. Here we go. You said to me that you know Allah is exist because He is the one who created the earth and the sun and the moon. That's wonderful. How come yeah. Allah do not know where the sun goes every day? Listen, you don't understand Allah's language because our our your your brains are very small. Like yeah. our brains are very small, That's where good. where we can't understand what mm. some things mean. Yeah. My brain is very small. Uh, by the way. I said, Okay, your let, brain is very small. I said our brains are very small. No problem, no problem. That's mean your brain and my brain they are very small. We need two more with small brain. We can play cards because it, it contains four. But now listen, as long as your brain and my brain is small, so why Allah saying that to me if we will not understand it anyway? I mean, don't you think it's a stupid from a stupid person to say something to stupid people who will not understand anyway? What do you think? Like I will say something to you, and I know you will not understand it anyway. So I say to you, shish kebab versus falafel makes you shurara or shurara. And then you said to me, what is shurara marara? I say you, your brain is small, you don't understand. So why I'm saying to you that? What is the point of this book? Okay. 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 Forget about this. You know, your God Allah is really all knowledgeable. Uh, uh, do you have anything in the Quran to confirm that it is from Allah as long because you see here Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe Allah he was taking some hashish or kizah. So I don't know he, he made a mistake Let it go. I mean we have to forgive him. What about in the same chapter? He says that he found he keep walking this guy He keep walking 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 and then he arrived and he found where the Sun rise Where the Sun rise do you know? The sun rises from the west. The sun rises from the west. Yeah. Is that what happened in your country? The sun. No, in your... I'm sorry. The sun. The sun rises from the east. Oh, okay. It's in the west. Oh, okay. It's all right. So the sun rises from the east, but it, look what it says here. He keep he changed his direction and he keep going. He follow a road till when he reached the rising place of the sun. The rising place of the sun. Where is that located? 
in the east that's the wonderful east. where but where where but i uh, as i know my friend the east is exist everywhere i mean I, every morning i can look from my window and i see the east i do not need to go anywhere to reach the east the east is exist wherever you live any anywhere the sun is east i mean if you live if you live in an area it doesn't matter where then the sun will rise that we call it the east wherever the sun is coming from so why he says here he keep walking until he reach till he reach the rising place of the sun don't you think this is a stupid too or you think this is like uh, because we have a small brain we don't understand let me explain to you i like it when you say let me explain to you because when you say that there's mean there's a disaster will happen okay go ahead explain to us okay so it this means that like by the time he reached there the sun was rising Oof. and he found and he found the people whom whom had no closer homes to protect them from the sun i mean my friend how in the world i could not understand it the way you understand it all my life look i am 17 years old yet i could not get it how old are you 17. You are 17 like me. So now both of us who are 17. It's a miracle. Are so, you seriously you, 17? You, you sound like you're copying me because I said 17. You say 17. What's it? What's your no. age, really? No, so really, it's 17. You are 17 years old. Yes. Okay. How, how old is your dad? Uh, 58. Uh, my dad is 15. You believe it? My mom is 14. But anyway, I'm, I'm older than my family. Have you ever heard of somebody is older than his family? no that would be crazy is it it's unusual that's unusual that's true we will go to that later remind me so we can talk about this topic because this would be complicated for you but as long as you mentioned to me that you are 17 can and I, can i ask you something um money no no uh, candies if, candies whenever i i find what well, i i find someone more obviously more knowledgeable than me then mm. then could i call you again sure you can call me but i what about you ask your uh, do you have do you have a shake in the mosque you go to yeah i'll ask a, i'll ask a sheikh to call you okay I, I i i ask you please if you can ask your sheikh and you said and you can ask your sheikh you can share with him you can sit next to him and he can talk to me because uh, I want you really I want you to get me somebody he knows Islam he claimed to know Islam and you will see that Muslims have no answer my friend anyway I'm happy that you call me but and anyways, uh, I, I know this book is the truth I know it's always gonna be the truth really and they you will realize it's the truth mm -hmm. and then at that day you're gonna ask why you didn't accept the truth okay let, 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 to be honest with you I know that Islam is the truth but I'm afraid that your prophet he promised me in the heaven I will have sex and stop and I will have 70 years orgasm and then and not only that yeah. he said my penis will never sleep and this is really horrible i mean imagine you want to sleep and take a break but you cannot because your penis is like can i, can I, mean, I also tell you something else ew, tell me jesus is the servant of god because he had to use the bathroom he had to eat he had a mother really? who had to take okay. care of him can you show me the eat. can you show me the reference that he used the bathroom well, he was a human being, isn't that correct? Okay, wasn't uh, the, 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 the the Quran says that Jibreel came as a human being? Do he use a bathroom and he called him Holy Spirit? No, no, J Jibreel, not, Jibreel is an angel. Okay, did he came to earth as a man, yes or no? He came in, form, in a form of a man, yes. All right, so do he use a bathroom? Uh, I don't know about, no, angels... Hmm. Is your God is is your God Allah is a man? We re, re, we refer to Allah as a he. Yes. No, this is not the question. Uh, I don't care if it's he or she. I'm saying, is your God Allah is a man? He looked like no. a man. No. So why your prophet? He said he is short and he is fat. Where? In front of us. Here we go. Okay. You, do you see my screen? Uh, no. You need to zoom out. Okay. Your prophet. He is saying. Is comparing between Allah and the fat man, which is a, a Dajjal, 
Then he said the only difference between the the gel and the uh, and Allah is the the eye. The ass is the same. The hair is the same. They have the same. Everything is the same. The only difference between them is the eye. What do you say about that? He's talking about the Antichrist. He, yes, he's describing the Antichrist. Correct, but he's saying to them in the same time, if you are confused about him, which means about him, the false Christ, you should know that your Lord is not one eye. So Muhammad is afraid that they will confuse about Allah and the Dajjal, and he's confirming to them that the only difference between them is the one eye. No, so listen to me. Listen to me. Okay, so how many the, eyes your God? How many eyes your God have? I don't know how many eyes he does he has, but I'm, I know he's not one eyed. Hmm. Why Allah have eyes? I don't know, because he's Allah. Because he's Allah, I have eyes too. Eyes is to see with it. So as long we agree that this is a physical eye, that's mean Allah He can see only with those eyes and his eyes in the front of his face. So Allah cannot see in the back of him. No. Okay, where are the eyes located in his front or in his ass? Hmm. You think you're very funny? I'm not being funny. I'm asking questions. I need an answer. I'm trying to learn from you. So Allah have two eyes and they are located in the front of his face. The Quran says the, the face of Allah. So Allah have a face and he have a bum. So if there is no eyes there, that's mean we cannot he cannot see in the behind. And but Allah is the all seer. How can all see her but him see his? Mm -hmm. You must be best, best friends with the devil. Mm, yeah. What if I show you that the best friend with the devil is Allah? Mm. Actually, what if I show you from the Quran that the devil himself is Allah? What you would do? Okay, tell me the verse. Let's mm. let's see the verse. All the Quran, the Quran says that the one who Allah Deceive nobody can guide Is that true or I'm lying? That's true. Okay. Thank you very much guys. Did he say this true? So if Allah deceives somebody nobody can guide so who is the devil then? No, if I'm saying if Allah is that so is that is that, your, is that your mom Allah, next to you? Is that your mom next to you? One no one could guide him. That's correct. Correct. Okay, so Allah is a devil Allah is even more evil than the devil because that's, that's devil. it because well, Allah could choose who he wants to guide and who whom he wants to misguide. Thank you. So Allah is playing games. He guides some people, he misguides some people, and he is the only evil in this earth. It's not a shaitan. Allah is a shaitan. You just said everybody heard you that Allah he chose who wanna misguide and who is the one who wanna guide. So if I am misguided, it's Allah who misguided me. If you are guided, Allah he guided you. So Allah is a devil. Allah is playing, having fun. Hey, I will guide you. Hey, I will misguide you. So what is my fault? This is stupid religion, my friend. So you are following the devil, worshiping him, and says that Allah is God. But the fact he is shaitan and he play with us. So he chose who wanna he wanna who wanna play with, and he wanna make him deceived. So thank you very much. You prove to me that Allah is the devil by your help. Is your mom next to you? Uh, no, she's not. Okay, who's next to you? I heard somebody talking to you. Oh, that was that my little brother came in and he oh, left. Okay, out. I thought this is your mom or your daddy. Okay, my friend, thank you very much for calling. You can call me again. All right. Wait, sir. Yeah. Okay. Next time, insha inshallah, I'm gonna come with either a sheikh or with more knowledge. Okay. And we and I would love to talk to you again. All right. No problem, my friend. Right. Thank you very you much. Have, you have a great night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. All right. I mean, obviously, Allah is God. I mean. <laughs> Hey, Allah is the one who misguide, Allah the one who guide. That's it. So what shaitan is about? Yes, Abdul. Yes, child. Child molester? Yes, you say you say about the previous caller. Uh -huh. where, show me where um, uh, Jesus go to toilet, yeah? Okay, show me. Okay, go to your Bible. Okay. Open your Bible. Okay, tell me where. Luke. Okay. Chapter twenty-four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse mm -hmm. forty-two to forty-three. Read 42 it. Forty-two and forty-three. Okay. 
41, 42, and 43. Read it. All right, let us go. Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. All right. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Show your God here now. Mm. Okay. Read first. Okay, and this is 41, 42. And then when he had uh, uh, spoken, he showed them his hand and his feet. And while they yet believed not for joy and wounded, he said to them, Have you the uh, have have uh, have ye here any meat? And then they gave him piece of uh, boiled fish and uh, honeycomb. Where is it says that he did the uh, pee? You don't understand? No, I didn't understand. You explain to me. You see there that he says that I he he, he went to the toilet. It says that to you. What what did he ask for? He asked for what? He asked for. Uh, it says here food. Is that food? Okay. Okay. And where where do you put your food in? In your mouth. And where does it come out? Okay. Let me ask you. Everybody will laugh at you right now. From his ass. From his ass. Hold you on. Know? Okay. If you let didn't me... know, I tell you. Okay. From his ass. Okay. Okay. So are you saying to me, whoever believes, uh, uh, you can scream as much as you want. This is from coming from your ass. Isn't it your God who said to you, you will go to heaven, but you will eat, but you will not do shit? Yes or no? Are you making fun of Allah? Are you making fun of Allah? In the heaven, you, are you God? Are you saying to me you are God because you will not shit in heaven? In Jannah, yeah. no one go and, and go to the toilet. No Thank you very much. Food. So guys, did you hear this? In Jannah, nobody go to the toilet. So how you will eat, but yet you will not shit. You are you are making fun of me here. You are saying to me how oh, Jesus cannot eat and he will not go to the bathroom. You are saying that. I'm not saying that. So in but you, in your belief, Jannah. you're stupid. In your belief, Jesus is is Jesus coming from Jannah according to Islam. He is the word of God came down to earth, sent down to Mary, and now Jesus is in heaven. You Abdul, and this is Jesus after the resurrection. This is Jesus after the resurrection. So now you confirm to me that Jesus is God. So now you are saying to me, if somebody do not, if somebody eat, that is not a proof that he is not God, because you just said to me that in heaven you are going to be God. When a Muslim they say to me, how Jesus can be God, but yet he eat. Why they say to you, because if he eat, you want to go to the bathroom. Then we find that their their prophet and the Muslims they are in heaven eating and having sex, but yet they will not go to the bathroom. Yes, but he live in this worldly life. Who care? But Jesus in this worldly Jannah. life. This is, but Jesus, no, Jannah. my friend. But Jesus said, "I am not from this earth." Did he say that? This is not in Jannah. No, but it doesn't matter. He proved to us that he is not from this earth, and he have the power. He have he have a power which nobody have, and uh, even your Quran confirmed that. Let me ask you, the Quran says nobody can tell you what you hide in your houses. Is that true? It's a big matter. And where does Jesus say, "I'm not from this world"? Well, if I show you. What you would do? Show me where he say I am not from this world. Mm -hmm. But if I show you what you would do, what I will do, I will believe it. You will believe it. You promise me. Of course. Okay. Show it to you. Be my witness, everybody. He said, if Jesus says that, he will believe it. Be my witness. You will see okay, in a second. That, okay. You will what see in a, you will see this in a second. He will say I don't believe it. Here yes, we go. Yes. Yes, this is the book of John. Said. This is the book of John, chapter 8, verse number 23. He said to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are from this world, I am not from this world. And you promise me you will believe it. I am not of this world. Yes, it's true, it's there. Okay, so you said to me you will believe it. Did you did you keep your promise or you are a potato? Yes, I believe it. So now Jesus is not from this world. So the Quran is wrong. No, it's not wrong. What do you mean? He is not from this world. He is not a human like us. He is not from here. He is from above. But this is from the uh, uh, Bible. Wait, 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 you, you, yes, but you told me you will believe it. And you said you believe it. A second ago, you said you believe it. So now you cannot take it back. You just admitted that what? Jesus is God. You admit I believe it. My, from my, your my friend, you admitted that Jesus is God. This is John chapter 8, verse number 23. And you promised me, you made a promise in the front of everybody, that if I can show you that, you will believe it. And then I showed you, and you, you are a man, I respect you now, that you said, I believe it. Okay, so now you believe that Jesus is not from this earth. Where is Jesus from? According to this verse, the one you believe in now? Hmm? Where is he from?
John 8.23. Mm. Where is it from? Where is it from? Just, you know, he is not from this world. Where is Jesus from, we think? Yes, he said he's not from this world, but okay, it, where is from? It's not from the the Quran. You, see, I thought you will uh, show from the Quran. No, 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 no. You are a hypocrite. You said to me where what? Jesus said in the Bible. Uh, it's recorded. Everybody is laughing at you. And then after I show it to you, and I'm showing it in the screen, and you were reading it, and you know it's in the Bible, and you said yes, I believe in it. Stop lying. Okay, sure. You saw I, it in the screen. I have, I I'm showing you. I said to you, John. I said to you, John, chapter eight, verse number twenty-three, and I show you the screen. And you, after you saw it, and you start reading it, and you said, "Yes, I agree with it." Now you are saying to me, "Show me from the Quran." You are being hypocrite now. No, 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 no. I not only that. Not only Quran. that. Abdul, let me get you busted more. Do you know what Jesus said yeah. after that? What did he say? Look what he said. You say to me where well, Jesus says, "I am God." First of all, he said, "I'm from heaven. I'm from above. I'm not from here." Is not one of us, all right? And then he says to them, uh, let us read here. Mm -hmm. Then Come Jesus on, said to them, I will go away in my, and, and you and you, sh you shall seek me. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Let's go from John. This is John 8. Okay, all right. Then it says here, uh, I shall go away and you shall seek me and shall die for you for your sin. Whither I go, you cannot come. Where I can go, you cannot come. Then the Jews they said, You will kill himself because he says, Where I go, you cannot come. And then he said to them, You are from beneath, I am from above. You are from this world, I am not of this world. And I said before unto you that you shall die for your sin, for if you believe not that I am he, you shall die. In your sin, who is he? I am he, you shall die in your sin. Who in is your he? Sense. Who is he? Mm? If you if you don't believe that he is he, you will die for your sin, which means if you believe in Jesus, then you will not die because of your sin. What is the authority of believing in Jesus that he is he that will make you not to die because of your sin? Do you know? But you, you really believe that someone died for you. My friend, you are the one who said to me, you believe in this. If you saw, if you see it, you are the one who promised me. If you see this, if you, if I show it to you, you will believe in it. Are you going to swallow your tongue again? No, I say I believe in this. Okay. I don't say. Okay. Uh, so now, okay, let us let, let us focus on the one you 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 said you believe in it. So when Jesus mm. said, "I am not from this world," mm. and He is from above, and you said, "I believe in it." Okay. Can you take down the text? Take what? Uh, go, go, go down, go down. We can go down as much as you want. Where do you want? Just go down. Okay. Where, where do you want? What do you want? All the way down? No, no, no. Just, just few, few uh, verses. Down. Okay. Stop, stop. So what you will do now? Jesus is not from this earth, and you admitted that you believe in it. You are out of Islam, my friend. I'm happy for you. No, I will not out. Yes, here we go. You just said everybody heard you. It's too late. Everybody heard you saying that Jesus is not from this earth. God, did he say that? He said, you said you believe in that, that he is from above. He is not from mankind. He is not one of them. He is from above. You are from this earth. You are down. I am from above. Okay. Okay, and you said you believe in that. So now you are out of Islam. Do Islam teach that Jesus is from above or he is from this earth? He come from a vagina, my brother. Well, here we go. So you see, a second ago you said to me that Jesus is from above, but in a second after you said to me, Jesus is coming from a vagina. So you are saying to me that for you, according to you, above is vagina and Allah is a vagina. No, he come out from a vagina. Well, you see, you are, a, you are a hypocrite. You are a liar. And, you know, you, you contradict yourself. 
you, you got you got busted and now you are trying to insult so I will hang up on you and you will get out of your misery you say to me you believe that if I show you he is from above you will believe in it and I show it to you and you said you believe in it now why you are trying to make it out you try to say something you you did not say a second ago he I is not from this it. world where he is from I say I believe in it but he's still from his mother who who was okay he is he is not from this world what does that mean what does that mean explain to me he is not from this world and you said you believe in that who was in Mary's womb this is not the question he is not and you yes. you, you agree you agree that he is not from this world so where he is from I say I will believe you I don't say I I will believe that he's not. No, you said word. you will believe, and you said I believe in that. Everybody heard you. You are a liar, a scumbag. Don't call me again. Don't ever call me again. I have no respect for you. It's recorded. Very embarrassing. This is the whole story. Extremely embarrassing. And you say to me, where Jesus said I am God. Well, if he is not from this world, he's from where? What he is? I am from this world. You are from this world. Everyone from dust to dust. But Jesus is not. For he is not from this world. And I'm showing you even a translation which you like, like international version, which is a funny translation. Whatever translation you want to see. Everything in the front of us confirmed that Jesus is God and you just left Islam Unless you want to say to your God I was a liar like you I am the living God Before Abraham I am Yeshua he said to them Timeless truth I speak to you before Abraham would exist. I am the living God And they start picking up stones and throw it at Jesus for he claimed to be God himself Don't call me back you liar I res res respect for you. I give you a chance as long as you are actor. You know you call me names etc. But there's no point of talking to a, a coward liar who cannot even keep, keep promise his, his words. But I understand, a follower of a child molester, he cannot act better. And they say to us where Jesus says, I am God. Hmm. Every statement of Jesus saying he is God. Not one, not two, not three, not four. Every statement. Liars, liars will end in fire. As simple as that. The same chapter, actually, in chapter John, verse number 28. Uh, verse number 28, I think, yeah. Let us go. 27, okay. Yeshua spoke again to them. When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you shall know that I am the living God and I do nothing of my own and by the way this is the translation of the Aramaic Bible this is this is the translation is called Aramaic Bible in plain English very original very authentic I am the living God I do nothing of my own pleasure but as my father, he taught me. He is the living God in the same time as my father, he taught me. What does that mean? That means he is a man. He is doing exactly as his father taught him. The man in front of you is a man. But God in the man, who the word became a man, God incarnation. So the word of God speaking on me, I am God, worship me. I do nothing of my own. 
because people they are asking who is this person who is doing this and what what he's talking about he's a man we look in front of us we see a man how we can say that and when you ask the Muslims why why uh, why the Jews they want to kill Jesus they have no answer they say because he's a prophet that's stupid <laughs> And the, the funny that which make it more funny, the the Muslim the Quran confirmed that the Jews they believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Why the Jews are waiting for the Messiah yet they want to kill the Messiah? If they believe he is the Messiah, why they want to kill the Messiah? Stupidity. Anyway, guys, we are here for many uh, hours. Uh, did we have a good time? Don't forget, please, to watch the previous video yesterday. It was hilarious. If you liked uh, some comedy to relax, to laugh like crazy, the video yesterday, it was actually, it was really good for like, uh, will make you get gain weight because you will laugh a lot. So don't forget to watch the previous video, the one before this one, because I will take it down as all my video. I don't leave them there for, for, for long. You can download the video, you can share it in your channel, you can have more subscribers, good for you. Please download my videos. If, if they are long for you, you can cut them pieces based on the topic, based on the color, and you can post it again, all right? So I wanna say thank you for being here. It's time for me to go and eat something I did not eat since yesterday. So I wanna say thank you, may the Lord bless you and keep you in good wealth and health. And as you see, Islam is the most stupid religion. And Muslims are very de deceiving people. They try to fool us, fabricate things is not there. And the purpose is very simple. The guy who before this man, he said, yes, Allah deceive. And Allah, he is the one who guide. So if Allah decide to deceive you to become a Muslim, he will go after you. If you are already a Muslim, why he want to deceive you? Allah deceive only those who they are not Muslims. Because a Muslim, he's already deceived. There's no need to make him deceived. This is why he target the one who is not deceived. The opposite of Jesus. Jesus said, I came to the sick. Jesus, he want to heal the sick. Allah, he want to make you sick. For Allah is the father of all lies and he is the devil. And this is proven every day by the Muslims, one by one, caller after caller. And as you witness, the guy, he just called us and he said, I will believe if you show me. And then we showed him. Very embarrassing. He said, I believe. And then after that, in two minutes, he tried to swallow it and tried to deny that he said that. The same as the other guy, the Moroccan guy, he said that in the heaven you will have sex with your mother and your sister and your daughter. And then he said, I did not say that. And then we got him busted by playing his recording. This is what they do. They are the same as their prophet and truthful false generation following the devil we are following the messiah either we say yay yay or nay nay lies are not accepted christ is lord islam is false and see you soon again bye bye